The, holy shit, OBS froze. Okay, it's running. Oh. Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, episode two of Fading Tranquility with... Well, the curse did not continue this time around. Let's give a... Can I please give some claps for the first time? I think we should get claps because we managed to make it. Uh, yeah, fuck you. Um, <laughs> anyways, so... Uh, where we left off of last session, you guys arrived to the planet, did some general scouting, and split into two parties, uh, which I am calling the commoner party and the church party, because that is as we go. And the spicy thing happened, mostly, uh, beforehand, which is uh, our fellow individual, Lael Adi, um, tried to, uh, if I remember right, schmooze some church boys basically church people are trying to find out uh, who allegiances kind of go to my right? god it's charm it's close enough schmoozing but so uh let me just see i hopefully let me just see if this is a good enough and eh, fuck it i'll just use a city map it shouldn't be that bad so uh, you guys place yourself on the uh, map, if you don't mind, your tokens, and I'll just draw something out real quick, uh, real real cool. Uh, entirely professional SD man, work here. Man has two images as back. <laughs> Yoink. Uh, okay. I'm just going to do one of, one of these. Uh, by the way, these reds, think of them as like walls or buildings or whatnot. Because that's just how we roll. Cool. Beautiful. I know, right? This is how this is how a map is supposed oh, to look like. Also, fuck, I disabled streamer mode. Uh how do I Okay, I'm gonna have to mute the conversation actually for about three hours. So uh if you guys could place yourself on the left side of the map. Oh my god, Domino, do not I okay, hold up. I need to fucking go into streamer settings now because <laughs> bitches. I only use the C word, it's fine. Okay. So uh, on one eventful night, uh, both, uh, by the way, also just to note, in terms of uh, equipment, you guys do have access to your equipment. You're just sort of keeping that hidden into, you know, its respective rooms or places. Uh, church boys, though, I need to know, this, uh, since you guys are trying to uh, go in, what are you guys wearing? And then my dad sends me a message on Viber. Ah! What are you guys wearing of uh, equipment or having on when you guys are just sort of going about? Like, are you guys still in your um, church attires and whatnot, or trying to be in disguise? Since this would be around the church area. I mean, yes, I mean, we would be in our disguises. Okay. Um, personally, for me, it's not. I feel like it won't be too difficult in all those fucking robes to keep like two fucking pistols hidden away. Obviously, no fucking charge packs or no reloading the hotshot last for me, but you know. So the only one that you actually uh, let me actually let me check your gear is I have the hot shot last pistol and the last pistol. The last pistol won't be a problem. The hot shot last pistol will be a problem since that one has to be hooked up to that backpack I told you before. What do you mean hooked up? Why does it need to be hooked up? Because it that's how the pistol works. It has to be hooked up directly to the charge pack because it's using so much. Then energy. why does it have? A... Okay, well. No, no, no. I misunderstood uh, how it works, then. Yeah, we, we talked... The charge pack is the clip. Yeah, the clip for the regular last pistol. The hotshot last pistol, though, is connected to the backpack. Yes, the charge pack thing. Hold on. Can we just fucking slap on some sigils and papers and call it a day? We're in a church. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Demi... De Y'all are laughing, but Demi knows that's a very valid point. It, it it is, but no. It, it if you want to be if you want to keep that whole subtlety, as I said, it's a ten kilogram big ass thing that glows and is basically a mini generator on your pack that has, I would assume, some kind of tubage or something that connects it to the pistol itself. Of the it hot could be my fucking my penance. Ah, uh, whatever. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna take the last pistol then. Okay, and Lael, what do you have in terms of stuff? My shock mall. Yeah, uh, honestly, that one probably doesn't look out of place <laughs> in the slightest, at least. Sometimes, I mean... sometimes people need to be smacked. 
So, and, I'm say, like, if you, you would be able to carry more outlandish shit with you than I, because I am a regular priest. That is. Yes, I mean, the other stuff, the only thing I would think that would be useful is maybe the manacles. Um, yeah, you can carry. Yeah, you would carry, just this is weapons. Yeah, yeah, weapons basically my. I don't have any. But, uh, generally speaking, you guys, um, one second, one second. Okay. So, you guys are taking a bit of a sort of uh, nightly patrol, probably looking around, trying to do things, whatnot, while going about the various church. Uh, place uh, various church shortcuts and places trying to you know keep an eye out on stuff um i need you guys to make me an awareness test flat aspect of flat. okay uh yes a... very much would just flat All right are you fucking serious don't worry. <laughs> don't worry about it <laughs> you're about to see why whatever it's awareness Whatever. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, as you guys are walking up, and you guys can place yourself at the corner at this point, um, Lael, you don't, no, not, not exactly in the corner, like, just move up. Um, you guys are walking, Lael, you're kind of, like, busy sort of thinking, processing things, but you, Spike, you hear just from, like, the left side of the next next corner, a bit of movement, almost like like rustling of you know various trash and whatnot going about. There seems to be somebody in the middle of the night coming, or or rather, how you see it, or how you feel it from your experience. Uh, somebody right behind, right neck, right across the corner, waiting almost. I put my hand on Lael's chest. And, uh, uh, no, I'm putting my hand on on Lil's chest and uh, quietly say to him, "Keep talking. There's someone around the corner." Okay. And as you guys do that, and they you sort of uh you know be there, get close. Uh, let me reveal them. You notice two people coming from the side of. <laughs> yeah, and I honestly cannot find a better picture. For... <laughs> About. Um. You just basically see two people from the corner just kind of like step up in front of you. You see another individual from uh, the background, for sort of like down the street also sort of appear. And two people behind you as well, just coming, coming up and trying to uh, surround you on every corner possible. And they, sort of, they sort of, they are dress they have these sort of a uh, hood uh above them but you can sort of just see their mouth and they seem they they have that body language of hostility and they're just sort of surrounding you just sort of keeping silent until they kind of position themselves appropriately uh well hmm. i'm gonna i'm gonna just be like uh, with my like, I put down, I put my hand down, like from Leo's chest, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, what is this all about? One of them uh, sort of steps forward, just an additional uh, bit towards you, and goes, "You guys are heretics. You're you're part of Robert's coterie." What? Can you repeat that? You, you, you're, you're part of Robert's coterie, and as they sort of say that, you see actually all of them, like, take out uh, a bunch of knives, just be like, prepare to fucking die, heretic. All right, quick draw. All right, indeed. So, uh, roll initiatives, please, and let's see how good they go. So, I'm going to add a turn, since, actually, I can do it like this. It's less cursed. They do have fucking dirty agility. Custom. Plus three. If I just click, and... I'm gonna fucking re-roll that real quick. Uh, by the way, if you want, uh, before re-rolling, uh, there's something you can do with fate points. Just a note, uh, since that's something that we didn't use much often. Uh, you can spend a fate oh, point yeah. to instantly have a ten. Man. Yeah, instantly have a ten. But nah, I have a fucking one d ten plus four. Um, 
Okay, so uh, I'm fine are you with re-rolling or st uh, taking uh, a? Uh, I'm re-rolling. I'm re-rolling. Actually, no, no, no. I don't need to. No, I, I don't need to. Yeah, I can just take fucking ten. It's not a ten on the initiative. It's as if you rolled a ten and then you add your bonuses to it. Oh, okay. So yeah, just fourteen. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I thought it was just a <clears> ten. <throat> okay. Fourteen and descending. Okay. So, uh, Spike, it's, I accidentally closed the time turn order. Okay, so Spike, it is your turn as the various people of the cloth various that have surrounded you is, um, well, taking out knives and stepping closely towards you. Uh, so, shoot, move, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. All right, all right. Like <laughs> uh, I can't move like through here. I'm assuming like I can't move through here without taking an attack of opportunity. Yeah, right? you wouldn't be able to. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to. Wouldn't be able to. Uh, and by the way, just to just to consider this, if you want to, uh, since I didn't draw it, this is kind of like a church alleyway sort of thing. So expect that there's like also little things like trash cans, debris, stuff like that. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it's not um, difficult to rain, but just note for like cover purposes and whatnot. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Mm. Well, shoot Father Campbell over here, move back one, and then shoot him again. Okay. Uh, go for it. Oh. Hit. No aim. Short range. Yep. Standard. Yep. Hmm. Well, you could also actually. Send... I can do a semi-auto here, yeah. True. Oh, yeah. semi-auto, semi-auto. I forgot it. I forgot the last one. I can do that. Short range, semi-auto. And uh, question: Are you no using... modifier? Are you shooting it uh, normally with the charge pack or overcharge? No, no, just normally. Oh. Okay. Also, who, who the hell is making that much mic mos? Oh, very good, you? very good point. Wait, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, no modifier because I'm shooting with just. One one arm, not two handed, so we fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that. God bless. Okay. Spend another fate point. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Both hit. Both, um, you know, tech should hit if he doesn't dodge. He will attempt to, but um, yeah. Let's just Definitely say it's an unattempt, huh? Oh, mm. no. <laughs> oh, no. Karma. Okay, so before I resolve anything of that, I just want to see if the, he possibly instantly dies or something, so roll damage. Uh, let's see. Uh, So just two. Yeah. Nothing special, nothing special. Bop, bop. What the fuck? Uh, hold up, Did you, sh you shot with semi-auto, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the three will do... Um. Hold up, where did you shot? Zero three. That's actually the head. Um, Fuck me. But that doesn't do anything. And if I remember right from the table, the second one would go on the head as well. So that uh, guy takes seven fucking damage. Very impressive. Let me just uh, put this to seven and max ten over here. Actually, no, I'm retarded. This is supposed to be a three. So... As you sort of take your shots, bang, bang, for you, both sort of last shots just sort of hit into this man's head. Um, but you see one of them just makes a big fucking burn mark on like the side of uh, the side of his skull. And whew, that's not looking good. He luckily, it's basically instantly cauterized, but you did some good damage. And you wanted to move and do the move and shoot again, right? So like you're just not going to do anything with the crit fail or? Um, oh, right. For the crit fail, what do I do? This would have to be in your advantage, so I'm not going to make him try and, um, what is it called? Fall prone, so it's going to be harder for you to shoot. Um, rather, let's say like this, you're going to, you wanted to move five feet backwards, right? Yeah. I'm going to say as he tries to dodge and sort of tries to go forward, he stumbles, and I'll say he basically gets into the point fucking blank with you. He will not be engaged with, in melee with uh, Lael, though. Yeah. He just moves... First need, I still first need to move, though. Yeah, but he will be in point yeah. blank of you. Alrighty, then. Let's uh, get that standard shot off. Uh, hit. 
annoying point blank standard bop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, that'll hit. He, he already used his fucking dodge. Oh boy. Oh boy. Boy indeed. Oh, oh, oh uh, boy. Roll, roll, right to, roll to confirm. Roll to confirm. I just roll a 1d100. If it's below 82. Ah, uh, yeah, true, 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 true. Motherfucker, I need to. Mm. Yep. Uh, there's also a macro for oh. it that I think I should have. Yeah, that'll Confirmed. do. Uh, let me just see. Is this shown to players? Yeah, the D100 in the macro, by the way. You can just use that if you need to. I don't, I don't know that you have one. Uh, please. Set it up. And uh, roll a 1D10 for damage. Or additional. If you get another 10, you get to roll another one. Five, so, so 17, 17 damage. 17. He soaks 3. He goes up to minus 10. Uh, just for flavor purposes. Actually, no. Not even flavor purposes. That's a 53. That's in the body. So, Lael, you just see uh, this man next to you uh, get shot in the, in, the, in the torso area, like where the heart is. And you just see after uh, Spike shoots him right directly there, you just see a gaping... Uh, how much would that be? Maybe like, let's go with like five, seven, eight centimeters a diameter radius or whatever the hell it is. Hole just through the heart goes through it, and the focus just barely has time and the energy to like instantly like hold himself where his heart is before he just collapses at your knees or foot rather. Um, and that's one dead, and I think that's mm. enough from you, Spike. Right? Uh. Yeah, I mean, what else have I have left? Literally nothing. Entirely fair. Uh, the Devout, uh, they have a charge of nine, which is okay. Okay. So, Ooh. this is how we're going to do it. Let me just check if these ones have enough as well. Yeah. So, they're seeing their one uh, comrade die. They're going to yell out for the Emperor, basically. Um... And charge, two of them are going to charge you, Spike. And two of them are going to go on you, Lael. So, uh, let's first uh, resolve the one with Spike. So, um, do, 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 do. so, actually, I did do a small mistake. Let me just do this. And yeah, that's it. So, uh, melee hit, let's see. So, they did not aim because they're charging. It is a charge, plus 20. Uh, and they are going to get plus 10s for ganging up on you, basically. Yeah. Uh, actually, does anybody have combat? Uh, Spike, do you have combat? Adi answer? does. I do. I do. Adi does. So, let's see. That one hits. Oh. That one hits. Kniff. And uh, since the target is going to be 66 exactly for basically uh, everybody besides uh, Lil, I'm going to roll a 1d100 for the other guy on you. Okay. Wow, that's got to summon some sort of demon. Uh, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 33, 66, 33. 33. Yeah, that... <laughs> <laughs> you bro. <laughs> Holy shit. I... Um, would you want to... Um... Yes, okay. at least one of them. Okay, go for it. Does all specs apply? No. Uh, 45% chance. Ah, Sedge. Oh. Would you like to reroll? Nah. Okay. Well, luckily, they won't be doing too much damage. Uh, it is just a knife. So, let's see this. So, the first one and the second one. They're using knives. So, pens of zero, yeah. Pen yeah. of zero. And uh, do note, you are in your imperial imperial robes if you're keeping up your disguise. Not your general. Which had, like, yeah. zero armor, right? Uh, one, one, ar one armor. One armor on everywhere besides your head. Ah, no head. Okay, okay, okay. But let me see what that is. Uh, 33. That would have been a it left, my left. No, no. 33. Oh, yeah. 33. Yeah. My do dodge of the thing. That is the body. So that's the pen of zero. The first damage. The first thing does three damage. The second does one damage. Okay. As I you... am at four wound. Okay. Not bad. Not bad so far. As you just get uh, slightly stabbed. Um, I think from. Yeah. <laughs> you've been on a death roll and things. It hurts, but I think you've gotten worse wounds before. Fucking almost obliterated in the, the combat training <laughs> session, <laughs> bro. Um, and you, Leo, uh, the target on you would be a 56 since you have combat master. So I'm going to roll uh, 1d100. That hits. Oh. And 56, that would hit as well. 
Yes. Would you like to dodge or parry or anything? Mm -hmm. I'd like to parry. Go for it. Um, uh, zero, like, mother. Uh, unless you have something like well, balanced or something that helps you, uh, no, no, parry. No. Okay, then it would fly. Oh, hey, nice. You parry one knife, uh, as one of them goes, and you just take out your maul and just smack it, smack, uh, it hand, and, like, he keeps on holding it, but, uh, no hits, but the other one, uh, goes in. I and... swear to God, if I saw another blade ping into a wall across the room, <laughs> I'm, I swear to God. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker. Uh, so... so seven. How much do you, uh, how much, so you have, let's say, one armor, and how and much five. is it? Five, four, 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 so four, 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 four. So you take yeah. two wounds, then. Yes. Okay. And that's going to be the devout, as they, uh, go for the stabby stabbies. Yeah. Lael, your turn. So. Just because I forgot again. <laughs> uh, so I have a right to like hit, uh, to like attack two times, right? But without aim. Uh, hold up, hold up. What are you referring to? Melee attacks. Uh, you can only hit one person. But uh, do, what do you have in terms of advancements or anything? Uh, do you have swift attack? Do you have uh the oh yeah, assault right. or something? Yeah, right. I don't. So I just get the person. Right. Yeah, I think you should be only getting one up. Actually, hold up one second, just because I checked that. Because I know you got, I think, Crushing Blow, right? Yes. Um, Crushing Blow, uh, the Shock Mall, I believe, on its own is... Wait, where the hell is Shock? Where the hell is Shock? Oh, here's Shock Mall is 1d10 plus, uh, 1D 10 plus uh, 3. Uh, you have to manually apply the Crushing Blow where the Shock Mall is. So it's 1d10 plus 3 plus the Crushing Blow modifier... Which is half. So I just, yeah, I just add. 1d10 plus, uh, five, plus five is a total. Yeah. So, I roll for hit. Yep, go for the hit. Uh, do you, are you standard all out attacking? Oh, uh, well. So, no aim. Uh, you can aim if you, unless you're oh. all out attacking. Oh, yeah, right. Uh,. Yes. So it's like you use a half action to aim, half aim that is, for plus 10, mm -hmm. and then you use another half action to do the actual attack. If you're doing all oh. out, you get a plus 30, but it's a full, so it's full action, meaning you can't move, you can't uh, aim or any of that. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just go for standard okay. attack with half aim, and the modifier zero. And I'll attack the guy that's, like, in front of me. Okay. Ooh, uh, nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, we'll attempt... Stun his ass. Uh, well, this is the melee one. Uh, technically speaking, they can parry, and it is technically better by 6%. So let's see if that works. I have this man meta gaming. I see. Yo. <laughs> Wait. Actually, no. Actually, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. No. 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 That is a mistake. Since uh, I yeah, it doesn't apply instantly. Uh, it would be at a minus twenty. So if I want to re-roll that, my bad. It they fail because uh, they don't actually have parry. Oh. Um. They I mean you're using I knives. Roll. It's it's also just in a fucking attempt, basically. Yeah. The uh, roll damage. Yeah, roll damage. 14. Uh, let's see. No pen. That is, where'd you hit? 43. That's the body. So they soak four. Um, wow, he's, uh, the one in front of you goes to exactly zero health points. And the shocking? Shocking. He's, I'm going to be honest. He's going to be convulsing on the ground, but uh, how I'm going to count it is if they go to zero hit points, they're knocked out. They're not dead, since these are generics. They're knocked out at zero HP. So, I'm going to count this guy as uh, fucking yellow, I guess. He's knocked out. He's no longer part. And he's convulsing oh. on the ground, twitching while being Three unconscious. hostages. Indeed. Yes, hostages. So, um, then, 
Spike. So how does disengage work again? Is that f full action, half action? What is it? Uh, let me check the uh, thing, but I think I it is remember. a. I think it is a full action. Disengage, it is. Uh, you can that's do that's that, and it's still a movement, so you can shoot after the fact. But yes, since yes. you're using a pistol, if I remember right by the rules, you can still use a pistol in melee, but I think you take a minus 20 to it. Yeah, I know I can use it, and I thought the penalty was like minus 20. I'm weighing it in my head. This would be point blank. Uh, when you're shooting into melee, even with the pistol, it's not considered point blank. You mean when you're in melee, not into melee? You, you right now are basically being stabbed by people. Yes. It's still weird that it doesn't count as point blank, I'm not gonna lie. Eh, you're too busy getting stabbed. What does that have to do with the distance? The good question, ask the book. <laughs> Bro, what do you mean? So, what do you want to do? Hmm. You know what? Well, fuck it. Shoot semi-auto while I'm in melee, then um, half move out and then shoot again. Okay. Uh, just to double check if you want, shooting into melee. Uh, I can find something. Uh, possible. Okay. Uh, how about book says, oh wait, wrong book. Since there has to be something, I just wanted to find out. Uh, engage in melee. Bliss is made to hit a target engage, except for a minus 20. Nope. Engage in melee. Darkness. Helpless targets. Higher ground. Point blank. Being pinned. Fucking hell, there's so many things. Okay, but I remember sort of the way it works, but... Uh, yeah, you take the minus 20, and I think it still counts as having a plus 10 due to short range at the very least. So that's like sort of your range, let's call it. All right, so no aim, short range. Yep, and then the final modifier is minus 20 for being into melee. Yeah, semi-auto. Uh, so gotta love the... Gotta love the... <laughs> a free roll. <laughs> go for it. Just for spend, jam. Spend the uh, fate point. I did. Come on, baby, under 96, come on. I mean, look, it's not gonna jam, because it's reliable, but still. Technically still can, there's just a higher chance of it not to. Ah, uh, fair fight. Okay. Anyway, we move, like, fucking here. Uh, yeah, you did the standard action of, yeah, basically just shooting, and then... Oh, you're just purely moving, you're just spending a half yeah, action. Yeah, just purely moving. Okay, they do get an attack of opportunity, basically, since you're disengaging like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, just making sure. So, melee uh, hit. They can't aim on this. This is just reactionary. Attack type is standard. And, uh... Does outganging work like this? I'll say no. Okay. One hits. Let me confirm the other one, since the target is uh, 46. 46. Oh my god, okay. Uh, well, I've obviously attempted to dodge one of them. Go for it. Player sheet. Dodge them. Nice. Okay, nice. You dodge one of them. And the other one is going to try and be damaged. Uh, so you dodge the first one. Ah, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> it does nothing. It does nothing. God fucking bless. Okay. And, and now shoot. Indeed you can. Fucking desperado. Get it. That... No aim, this is now short range, but I'm no longer with the minus one. Uh, hold on, shooting this. Yeah. Okay. yeah, you can. <clears throat> okay, uh, got a minus 20. Let's see if he dodges. You get fucked. Fucking close, <laughs> but uh, no spaghetti. Anyway, I rolled the marsh. Ah, <laughs> that is uh, well, head again, funnily enough. <laughs> <laughs> I keep fucking tapping with the head with the most pitiful shots. Um, that will do no damage as it's uh, man just soaks it. You, you just see him eat the laser, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Devout's turn. 
you know, they see, they see, yeah, honestly, this, oh shit, I fucking moved the wall. Oh, bro. <laughs> uh, these two are going to do what's called a pro gamer move and uh, entirely surround Lael. Of course. Um, so, three attacks on Lael. Yeah. Shit, Combat Master doesn't give me anything. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to attack with the one who is in front of you, who is... Ooh, what should I do? No, they're not going to lock. He's going to half aim and then do a standard attack with the knife. Uh, no additional modifier because no alpha ganging. Oh my fucking god, these legends. You crit. Jesus. And the other guy's moved to get in front of you. Uh, the crit when hitting uh, does nothing, basically. Okay. But the other ones have a target of 46 since they didn't, um, what is it called, half aim. So they had to move. Yeah. So that one misses since it's 46. And the 19 hits. Oh. And can I try to parry one? Uh, yeah, which one would you like oh, to yeah. parry? Does it make a difference? It's a good question. Not really. Not really, yeah. <laughs> not really. So, yeah, if, you so... premonition, if you had premonition, yes, but you know. Yeah. yeah. So go, let's say that it's just the first one. Damn it. Would you like to reroll? Hmm? It's fine. Okay, okay. Uh, so, two then attacks. One. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. They These both... damage roll, they have, by, well, they do have shanks. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah that's zero I... damage. Fucking <laughs> damage. Okay. That's... Except if one hit my head, but I think. Uh, hold up, hold up. If it's the head, uh, you actually failed to parry the first one, which would be four. That's called a 0, 4, and then to a 40, actually. I don't that go to the body. And the other one is 19, which goes to a 91, which I think is a leg or arm, which has the same. No, none of them go for your head. Bastard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, Lael, then. Well. You are surrounded. Yeah, let me hit the one. Hit, Again. The, hit the one. I mean, try it. Mm, that same. Uh, standard. Nice! Okay, uh, one is going to attempt to parry with the minus 20 since I'm not good at it. No, do damage. Nice. Oh. Nice! Okay, 16. Um, okay, that one just straight up dies. <laughs> which one, which one did you, uh, go for? The one in front of me. Okay. This one's just straight up dead. <laughs> As you, yeah. Well, where did you hit 25? That would be the, some of the arm. Uh, you basically just crack his uh, arm, which you just sort of push him forward in, sort of hitting the ribs, and you just see him cough up blood and just plonk to the ground. Question, question. How, how did I deal 16 damage? Uh, 16 damage. Okay, so you have the 1d10, right? Plus 5. Plus 3 from the damage of the weapon itself. Yeah. Plus two from crushing blow, and then your strength modifier. Oh, oh, oh I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, you being strong or having strength helps with doing more damage. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay. That's, uh, I think that's your turn then, since you just plonked a bitch. Spike. Who? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, your turn. Oh, yeah, fuck you. That was a fucking... I forgot that, like, Lael rolled the worst uh, <laughs> initial. My bad, my bad. Well, you know, fucking same thing, except this time shooting into melee. Yeah, so that's a minus 20. And if you yeah. fail, chance you hit fucking Lael. Depends on how bad I fail. Still, the first one will be... Semi-auto. Okay. I'm crazy like that. Holy shit, both hit. <laughs> oh, okay. Motherfucker. Uh, the one will try to... Uh, I presume you're hitting the closest one over here. Yeah. Yeah. He'll try to dodge with a minus 20. He'll do it. He'll succeed, I believe. <laughs> yes! 
He actually, I called it. He had okay, so that's how, how it works. That's two degrees of success, and that's two hits. So he actually dodges both of them. Bruh. <laughs> Doesn't the base degree not count? No, no. The For base that? the base degree counts, right? The success. And then yeah. every difference between the decimal point. Since this is basically zero nine and this is a ten, so the difference between zero and one is one. So that's two degrees of success. And how dodge works is that for every degree of success, you no, yeah, I understand dodge that. One. I just thought like I just thought that the base wasn't taking account, but I don't fucking remember honestly. So yeah, uh, yeah. this is this is two degrees of success. So motherfucker actually dodges it so, somehow. You don't know how. Like, actually, no. As Layla is sort of, like, trying swinging about and going about things, he just, uh, somehow perfectly ducks to avoid Layla's, you know, sort of bash, and also at the same time dodges your semi out and you're just like, wow, lucky. Oh. Oh, that's a sedge. No jam, though. No jam, but that is a lot of degrees of failure. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's actually six degrees, uh, and shooting into melee. Uh, roll damage, please. Bruh. Would you like to do whoops? Um, um <laughs> Bruh. Luckily, <laughs> luckily, Righteous Fury does not Doesn't apply talk, yeah. for allies. Bruh. But Look, what can I say? Be lucky. But Lail, <laughs> um How much damage do you take? Actually, hold on, where did that hit? Uh 93. Let's 39. reverse that. That's 39, so that would be body. So Lail, That's how seven. much damage do you take? Seven damage? Yeah. Noki doki. Count that you just got shot in the back. Bruh. I'd be lucky it wasn't the hot shot last. Um hold up, hold up to twelve, and you have yeah, four, and then one that's five. Actually you're missing uh two wounds. Uh you went from two to you went from two to nine, then not two to seven. Uh Oh yeah, I'm two. Ah, it just Good. replaces the old value, right? So yeah. if you take two wounds next time, we go back down to two. Okie dokie. Um. Uh, the devout's turn. They're going to roll willpower uh, to see if they're going to flee or not. If they succeed, they stay. If they fail, they're running. Now, they do have resistance fear, so they get a plus 10 to this. What are they scared of? Um, half of them just died. I mean, yeah, so? This didn't go exactly how they thought. One's oh, running. No. <laughs> but hey, still attack of opportunity. Another one, indeed. Uh, and I think uh, this doesn't really have a, like, you know, combat reflex thing. So those two sort of just look at the three on the ground and you just still standing still after taking an entire last pistol to the back, just sort of look at them, and they're like, oh god, we made a mistake, and we'll attempt to run. Since they're both disengaging, and there's not, like, attack of opportunity or how many you can do, I think, uh, roll your attacks on both of them, as they are going to attempt to sprint and run away. Both of us, or just me? Uh, just you. Just you're, the, you. you're the one in melee. Yeah, yeah. So, I just roll... Uh, no aim... Standard. No aim standard, yep. yeah. Yep. And actually, hold up, hold up. Uh, you would need to reroll that since they're going to be taking the run action. You actually oh, take yeah. a plus 20. Yeah. Oh, true, 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 yeah. True, true. I forgot about that too. It crossed my mind just now. So, come on. Cool. First hit, <laughs> nice. first hit hits. Go yep. for the second one. Go for the second okay. one as well. And they will, of course, attempt to dodge this with some. Can Luck. they if they're running away while in panicked? Technically speaking, yes. I mean, just zigzag five head. Well, okay, so both of them technically hit as well, unless indeed by some miracle. No, there's a low chance. So this is the first attack. Lamel. No. no. Second attack. No. Lamel. Do your do your damages. Oh. Uh, like twice, right? Yeah, yeah twice. twice. Dead. <laughs> Dead. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> just, hold on, hold they on. are deceased. Hold on. I, before, I just want to see exactly how much damage. Uh, roll a 1d100. If, if I think it's 55. Yes. If you roll yes, below 55, 55, you proc it. No, it's 73. It's 73. Dice roll 73. 
Uh, oh yeah, target 73, true, true, true. So, applies, one more. Uh, D100. Okay, roll 1D10 for the first one. Uh, 1D10. Yes. yes. Okay, nice. so that's 24 damage. And 1D10 for the next one. 1D3. Okay, I'm. I think the way to describe it, as you see both of them, you know, start to run away. You just sort of grab your shock maul with two hands, and you basically you, you saw this like on some uh, uh, on like some kind of sports TV while you were on a ship passing time. Uh, somebody playing like a game called Battus. You just take your shock maul and you hit one of them with so much force that you just sort of pull and hit the other guy as well, just slamming both of them into the wall. And crushing them in ha crushing them basically, uh, they're fucking dead. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> See the crit that you received transferred into those two crits you rolled. Yeah, obviously I transferred mm -hmm. the emperor's faith. And obviously me wanting to heal you now falls into the water because I took more of that. Okay. Set. Lastly, uh, sorry, what did you say? You bro were breaking up. I'm like, I wanted to heal you, but I took damage. Yeah, like my dude, take care of yourself. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing fine. Yeah. So, uh, what I'm going to need uh, is before we continue, you guys do have a prisoner, basically. He's convulsing yeah. on the ground still, but, and he's knocked out. But with your Medicaid, I'll say, and I think you have, did you pick up a Diagnostra as well? Yes, that's plus two. Yeah. I'll just give it to you because it's not that hard. Um, yeah, he's still breathing. He's barely breathing, especially with, you know, the shocking making his uh, heartbeat not go right. But uh, he'll be fine. But what I need... Yeah, to just... Do I manacle him? Yeah. E yeah easily. Manacle. And I'll get started on just cleaning up the bodies. Okay. Um, for that, uh, since you're going to clean up, give me... What would this be? Athletics? Uh, no, because you're trying to also... Uh, athletics would work as as well. I feel like athletics or stealth, stealth would work. Yeah. Both. Either either stealth or uh, either stealth or athletics. It's just a different approach. Athletics is just taking the I'll, bodies I'll away. Do, and I'll do stealth. Them. I'll do stealth. Okay. Uh, hold up. Because you have the time, I want to say. Oh, okay. Because you have the time and it is the middle of the night. Uh, and this was mostly melee. No shooting and stuff. With just a bit of... Uh, yelling, uh, take a plus 20 on this. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Um, like, I, I, my new target was the role I, ha I, I had. <laughs> okay. So, you hide the, so you sort of take, you know, carry the bodies and go about as, uh, Layla's things, and, you know, the closest thing that you can get them is, uh, you see this basically dumpster shoot, um, which is like, you know, sending them, sending garbage down one of the alleys, and you're like, fucking good enough. And you just, um, place the bodies in there and, uh, scrub a little bit of blood, then, uh, yeah, just a common alley now. Perfectly normal. Last... I mean, honestly, in this fucking place, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lastly, uh, roll me a 1d5. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the subtlety loss. Two, okay. Okay. Um, I'll just say because with that uh, a bit of failure and stuff, um, as you're sort of going away from the shoot, uh, you do hear a little bit of an echo coming from the inside of the shoot of like somebody screaming, and you're like, okay, time to leave. <laughs> time to leave, indeed. Okay. So. Um. You guys. Uh, so you guys basically have a hostage uh the other group commoners um actually more my question is now that you guys do basically have a hostage and whatnot uh would you actually try and uh, rendezvous up like it's not yet the night of the or the day of the festival so you guys have like i'd say at this point like two days uh brief time yeah i would definitely micro bead to our boys wait wait do you have the micro beads we have we actually don't know. no we don't never mind we can't really. Woo. We can't really agree to meet up. We can go back to like where we agreed to meet up. Yeah. Yeah, but it's the middle of the night. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's gonna make transporting this fucker a whole lot easier. That is true. 
my question then is uh how exactly do you transport do you just basically fucking steal a bike put a body over you and pedal i mean <laughs> it, it, it's not quite you know I mean, how next... advanced how advanced are the cars here meaning does it take more tech use or sleight of hand because i have neither <laughs> Um, I'd say the cars are just basically regular Earth cars. Just think of fucking wow, Warhammer, Warhammer. Yeah. Think, think of Warhammer 40k <laughs> <Miles> Audi. <Angel. laughs> sure. Uh, shit. Fuck. Yeah, the local brand Wait, is Audi. What do I have? What do you think? Well, I don't see any other option. What if we are gonna rendezvous with the other? Trans somehow and cars seem the simplest way. Hmm. Right. Do you know how to steal a car? Well, mm, not really. <laughs> you see, that's the problem. Neither do I. I mean, I don't know. The other option, maybe we could hide him somewhere, but I don't know okay. about that. Fuck, I should have checked any of the bodies. Maybe they had keys on. True. Maybe we could find, like, a abandoned house or a cellar or something, and I could stay with him while you get the other guy. All right, let's see. Okay. Um, I'll say since there's a pl this is Lally, and even though it's church area, because of the size and things, there's definitely going to be some abandoned things, like just random abandoned basements and whatnot. Uh, very easily able to find some. Uh, and Leo, yeah, you stay with, and I'll say uh, for the sake of simplicity, uh, you are able to contact the other two. Um, you know, use probably you probably would have uh, prepared something in advance for this. Oh, say. so can I heal myself while I? Uh, yes, give me a Medicaid check. Uh, how much, how, uh, wounded are you? I have one tick. Uh, no, no, no not Plus one thing. It's wounded. So nine out of 12. I think that means you're heavily wounded. But let me check the Medicaid, uh, skill. Because it says how to actually do first aid kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, why does it recommend Medicaid to everybody? Actually, you know, that's actually an entirely fair point. I recommend Medicaid to everybody. <laughs> Okay, okay, here's Medicaid. First aid. You make a challenging Medicaid test with a minus 10 penalty if the patient is heavily damaged. You would be considered heavily damaged. If you succeed, you yeah. remove an amount of damage from the patient equal to the intelligence bonus plus one additional point of damage per degree of success he scores on the test. And you can only be treated with first aid once every 24 hours. So, this would be a Medicaid with a minus 10, unless you have something like a first aid. With a plus 10. Uh, what do you have the diagnostic? Excuse me? I do have the diagnostic. The diagnostic? Sure. Sure, sure. I'll let it apply. So, basically, plus. Hey. Oh. So, that's Pog. four degrees of success. And how much? What's your intelligence? Uh, 31. So, three plus four. You heal seven points. Yes. And I think that's how it goes. He scores a test equal to yeah. Holy shit! You just mend oh. yourself up as the other guy is um stopped convulsing at this point. The electricity has left his body. Uh, and you're feeling already pretty dandy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the three of you, you guys can meet up. Hello, two of you. Are you alive? Yes. 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 Maybe. All right then. Half an so, hour. So we reconvene at the little abandoned basement. Yeah. Yes. So we got a hostage. Oh well. Someone to interrogate at least. Well, basically, we got attacked because. I am not the best with words. I think probably noticed that I wasn't really basically. But at least on the positive on the positive side, we do have a hostage. 
mean, that, that's quite good. I mean, like, yeah, she glances over at her Domer's character. Uh, you seem like the type of person that's good at, like, uh, interrogating people, right? You kind of give that vibe. Yeah, no, I, uh, I do know how to convince people to speak. Ah, uh, excellent. Christ, I that mean, was... I did work at the prison and with the adept Arbeid. Well then, uh, I would say, uh, you're the good cop and I'm the bad cop. Sure. Is everybody's, like, wounds are, like, dealt with, right? Now, let me. Um, well, what is it called? Uh, not Spike. Spike has not been treated. There's I'm blood. I'm fine. There's, like, blood okay. here and there. Do you want me to give you, a like, a checkout? I have Medicaid. Oh, yeah, sure. Let us, um... Let the maestros do their work, and you patch me up real quick. Yeah, trust me, I'm not well, I'm professional. Uh, You're probably better than anything I got back at home, so I'll take it. Not really. <laughs> yeah, you don't take a penalty for the Medicaid because uh, he's lightly wounded. Uh, do you have a first aid kit or anything? No. I'll say because this is the kind of environment, you can apply uh, the diagnosters, uh, plus 20, I think. I don't even know what that is. It just, I have that. Yeah, just roll the Medicaid with a plus 20. Okay. Uh, how, how do I... Oh, yeah, plus 20. Okay. Yeah, literally, yeah, literally tells your query. <laughs> That's even worse. Bruh. Um, well, the bleeding... It's not meant to be. The bleeding stops, but, um... Yeah, you're gonna have some new scars. <laughs> yeah, they look <laughs> good on you, man. They look good on you. <laughs> So basically, how are we gonna do this? Well, he's still asleep. Interrogation. Oh yeah. So, Freya, Indrin, anything on your end while um, we've had our adventure? Why could you repeat that, please? Could you say that, could you say that again, please? Anything on your end? Mm. While the two no. of us had our little adventure. I uh I spent some time uh, talking to the locals and uh, you know she kind of like uh, switched us to like more of a local dialect. Uh, beyond that, uh, nothing more. They they do seem to be able to quickly notice that uh, we're obviously not from here. Let me do. I actually need to do the linguistics check for that, or is it? Uh, that you are um not a native. Yeah, no, no I I want to like show off the fact that I actually kind of have the accent now. Uh, you can just you can just showcase it off. I'm not gonna make okay. you roll it. Okay, I wanted to roll, but a uh, shame. Shame. <laughs> I mean, you don't you don't have to roll to be yeehaw, howdy partners, basically. <laughs> if you're trying to do a Texas <laughs> accent, I want to fail. I just sound like normal. I just pretend like I know what I'm doing. Either. If you want to, you can roll for it, but. You know, you can take a plus one. You can take a plus thirty. Ah, see, see. No, no, I, I plus thirty on it. It's just trying to showcase okay. that you have an accent. All right, all right, all right. Oh my fucking god! Holy <laughs> shit! It's not a crit. Do fail. I lose it now? I get my XP back. It's 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 not a crit fail since crit fails are ninety six and above, so you're one off. But um. <laughs> Do I lose it? I get like uh, no, no. You get don't. My back? You don't. You don't lose it. You're just. <laughs> you just don't That's sound just... convincing. All right, all right. I'll be honest. It's not perfect. Yeah, I'll. I'll get, I'll get there at some point. Uh... Oh, so since uh, it would have been a while, um. You know, by the time uh, Spike went, got everybody, everybody reconvened, all of that. Uh, the hostage uh, would be getting slowly back to conscious, but he is fucked. Okay, okay. can we, can we, can we, can we, can we use this time to prepare this um, space for interrogation? You know, uh, making sure that uh, not too much sound leaks out. Um, It's mostly, uh, what is it called, uh, uh, abandoned, but... Oh, what would I apply for this? Give me, give me, actually, since you would have known uh, if you're uh, skilled at it, give me interrogation, but roll it with, uh, what is it called, uh, intelligence. Oh, okay. Uh... I, I'm not sure if this, uh, what is it called, the sheet supports intelligence being rolled for interrogation. 
Uh, uh, no. If, no. If not, just uh, use the manual. Intelligence, since interrogation is one tick, uh, just give me intelligence and... This is securing and stuff like this, and you have the time. Give me what a plus ten. Oh. Let's see. Like this? Uh, oh. Yes. Okay, um, I, hmm, that's garbage, but I'm gonna go and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and reroll that one. Okay. Can we succeed at that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I don't think this this uh, system likes us. Okay. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I fucking love this. So you were trying to do. Okay, how the fuck do I do this? Hey, like fucking Redemir did this, but to a room. <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, he decides to like open up all the windows, the doors, and stuff. He also decides to like uncuff the okay. prisoner, you know. Yeah. So. Oh please. I'm just gonna say, uh, for for the time being, uh, you guys, you know, uh, you see Indrind trying to uh, prepare the room, you know, moving things about, uh, opening, closing stuff, trying to make, you know, use his expertise in uh, <laughs> acoustics and sound, basically, and uh, trying to make the room as silent and quiet for uh, some good old-fashioned interrogation and uh, the rest of you are too focused to realize what he's doing, but Indrid, do you think you've done a splendid job? You, you think that, oh yeah, this is good, this is just, this is just like the simulations. <laughs> yes. We turned and around still. and literally removed everything from the room. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Why are the wait, wait a second? Why are the windows open? Oh, you see the walls are there, so the sound won't reverberate through the glass. It just goes outside into the wind, guys. Oh. I know how this works. <laughs> Deep brain. <laughs> and, and I'm gonna call over um, fuck, uh, which what's his in the name? Lael. And yeah. Uh, say, yeah, okay, we can go. Room's ready. <laughs> I mean, okay, fine. I I mean, you said we were oblivious to the chain. Yeah, I trust you. Yeah. <laughs> with, with a hundred, I have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But though, keep in mind, you said we were in a basement. I don't know about basements with windows. Uh, this, wouldn't with, be, like, this, this wouldn't be like full-on basement. This is like the basement with like uh, the little windows at like the top and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basement. yeah. It's mostly high Not than bad, anything bad. else. Cool, could <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, so. Do I just roll interrogation? Um, well, before you do, um, now about you RP it a bit. Or unless you want oh, to yeah. RP depending on, on, or unless you want to RP dependent on the result. Up to you. <clears throat> well, you tried to attack us. You took us heretics you don't know how wrong you are who sent you he sort of Should I... comes to consciousness sort of tries to look you into the eyes but sort of you can see that his view and like the way he's looking at you is he hazy like not really understanding what you're saying can i slap wake him wake up slap him yes you can <laughs> Actually, that's not a slapping sound. <laughs> well, how about, how about... That's a jacking sound. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you slap his face, uh, and he sort of shakes himself. You know, sort of sp spits actually out um, a tooth from the combat that he was just in as well. <sighs> and he sort of looks at you. You know, the fact where he is and the rest of you. And uh... oh, let me actually just just uh for brevity's sake see uh how he how this goes okay and he sort of just looks at you and he sort of just has this sort of steely face on him just going heretics well shit that's gonna be the case can i take my shock mall mm -hmm. turn it on yep. bring it really close to me. you want to try this again 
do your fucking worst. Do I roll intimidate now? Yeah, you can roll roll interrogate. We're gonna say that you know there's gonna take some time, but he is going to be trying to resist. But you can yeah. interrogate. Um, interrogate or intimidate. There's gonna be an, this is gonna be an interrogation process. Okay. Um, I was just like because he rolled. No, no, no. That's just to see for me if he's going to be you know a coward or if he's actually gonna stand up to for himself. Okay. So before you roll, uh, is anybody assisting with the interrogation? Yes, I, I uh, will be. Okay, so uh, Indrid is that it? Yeah, I think we agreed to that. Okay, yeah, pretty much. I don't even have it, so okay. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, all you have to do is just if you have it, you can say that you're assisting on this. So um, you can roll with a plus ten from the assistance, and since he's kind of surrounded, there's uh, a bunch of you and stuff. Uh, get give me another additional plus ten. Actually, so no, plus no, no. 20. Actually, no, no. Plus twenty. So full modifier should be plus thirty. Oh. I'm thinking like, okay, he's wounded. You know, there's a bunch of you. He's you. You have the time. Bruh. Would you like to re-roll? Yes. Go for it. Fuck. Easy. Well. Okay. Success. Oh. Oh. Yes. One thing, because of face of the law. Yes. Uh, you, I can uh, substitute my willpower bonus for the degree of success. Yes. So I would have three degrees of success. That is correct. Uh, just how the power works, just to entirely notify you, but I think you got it right. Uh, to use the face of the law, it has to be a successful interrogation or intimidation. Yes. yes. So yes, you can count it as having uh, three degrees of success. So. Um, what are you guys interested in? Uh, I'll Who say I'll say, I'll say you have three questions <laughs> with the three degrees of success. Um, okay, who sent? Um, he's going to for a while keep saying the emperor, but I will say that this kind of um part of it, you'll find out that he does seem to be a lackey of uh, Ishmael, the archbishop. But from what you can get, it doesn't seem that he was sent by Ishmael. This seems more of a fanatic trying to do stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> well, mm, Indrid, what do you think? What should we ask? <clears throat> what about? Uh, uh, I think I think we should try to like first, f first to figure out uh, what their base. Uh, it's about the, about the organization, like what, what level you can expect, like how many there are, and that kind of shit. I'm not sure how the best word it into. Uh, I mean, into like simple words, but uh, uh, but then uh, then we should uh, figure out who they're actually uh, fighting against. Like uh, you usually don't go out uh, as even as a fanatic and just uh, try to try to fuck up uh, some random people. Mm. True, but yeah, we do know he's he technically a follower of the archbishop, and the archbishop is the one who sent us as well. Yeah, basically, he probably mistook us. one of the heretics. Yeah, which is uh, important for us to know. Uh, more. So basically, to ask him where the where where the heretics are, I don't know how to formulate the question properly. You do it. Yeah, you're trying to find out, uh, I suppose, like, who are they fighting or why did they attack your blah, blah. Yeah. Um, that, you'll find out uh, quite simply, is uh, they, uh, they they thought that uh, you, laundering about with your uh, apprentice and asking about some specific questions, they thought you were a spy of Robert and uh, thus, you know, part of his uh, coterie belief and, uh, you know, his mm -hmm. posse basically and that's why you got stabbed okay that that makes the uh question uh the, the last question rather easy yeah <clears throat> okay so that was the answer to the second question yep you have one more and yeah um tell us what in uh what, what, what do you know about uh Robber, uh, Robert's cabal. Um, 
that is going to be a bit broad. Uh, anything a bit more specific? Just so, it, no, no, it's it's not. I'm not going to cook you out of the question. It's just more the question of what do you just so I can like base better tell you what are you looking for? What are you interested in more? Like the amount of people or like the like the uh, numbers of people, like what they're working on, where they're located, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um. So from you, what you can get, Garner. Uh, from this guy as you're trying to piece together information, I'll say that um, you realize that there does seem to be basically a church schism here, as close as possible. Uh, and that Robert is... Imagine if the entire church on this planet was like 50-50 split, with maybe like 10% being on neutral ground. So, what is that? 45% on Ishmael's side, 45 on Robert's side. And you find out by asking about Robert that um you know they're all heretics they let all the debauchery on this planet go untouched when the adeptus arbi should be you know being forced into people's places they they should be put to the you know the pyre the spike hangings all of that to showcase that you know garden world or not this isn't supposed to be a place where such unlawful degeneracy goes about and um yeah, it's just mostly that they believe that the entirety of people who believe in Robert and Robert himself, just big heretics that are going against normal ecclesiarchical teachings. That they're promoting, well, heresy, basically. Or it's not even promoting heresy, but they're letting heresy fester. Mm -hmm. So... From what you can garner, kind of similar to what the report from Ishmael said himself. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I will say, as uh, the interrogation will probably go on for about half an hour or whatnot, um, everybody make me awareness tests. Okay. Hello? Yes. Auspex does apply. <laughs> okay <laughs> damn impressive um so everybody else is a bit too focused but spike you knowing how to be always on guard um and using your auspex to help you maybe about five ten minutes uh about five minutes away uh, approximately you start hearing almost rushed uh footsteps and looking back at the sort of brevity, and now that you're actually kind of looking at attention, now that you know that footsteps and people are coming, you start looking around the room and be like, wait a second, why are all the windows open? Why would the, was the door always open? Indrund. <laughs> Indrund. Yes? Indrund. Yeah, well, well, Did well, you well, open well. the windows? Yeah, of course, I so you know the sound could uh, escape, so it doesn't uh, doesn't fill up the room. What do you mean? <laughs> Excuse me. Well, well, never well. mind. Never mind. Never mind. You shut up. Footsteps. Burn this place. Leave. We'll deal right. with this later. What are we yeah. gonna do with this guy? What do you mean? What are we gonna do? I mean, he knows too much. True. Well. Okay. Scramble. Uh, so okay, yeah. what do you do with the guy? I guess we leave him there. You're leaving him uh, there? First, like, first kill him so he can't say anything, like, even... Yeah, yeah, him. yeah, just we need to, like, kill him, and, uh, uh I guess... Um... Uh, um, I mean, we should, we should just uh, sh smash his head and, 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 like, burn the corpse, I guess. That, that should, like, get rid of the evidence, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm not return to this place ever again. Uh, Do you have yes. anything to burn him with? No, we're gonna set this place on fire. Yeah. Do you have anything with... to set this place it's on, on fire? fire? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> like, um, any, I have quick. another idea. I have another idea. I have another. We could just, uh, I could electrocute him, like put my shock mall in mouth, kill him like that, and I have three doses of stim. Just put the stim, like needle on him, so people. Would I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know what people think when they find similarly dressed, similarly dressed people with um, 
caved in skulls and last shots through them. I mean, we can we can just take his clothes. Carry. Uh, whatever you're gonna do, do it fucking fast. I'll help you out. Okay. So you want to basically fake an overdose? Yes. Okay. That would be Medicaid. Um, I'll say, since you're using the stim and you're going to actually be applying it to him and he's going to die from electrocution, I'll say you can roll Medicaid with a base of 20, plus 20. Uh, is, does anybody else want to assist or? I will assist. I have Medicaid. Okay, so that's an additional plus 10. So, I'll be going to re uh, The diagnoster, it. however, would not apply oh, yeah. here since you're not diagnosing him you're you kind of know, I know. What's about to kill him i mean isn't he diagnosing how it appears he dies kappa okay you fake an overdose um wait a second what's the first medicaid test is it 96 yes i rerolled okay okay <laughs> yes, I, used fake, I used the face point Holy okay shit. yeah yeah gucci 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 um yeah you you Elect you put your shock mall on the lowest possible setting just to like help uh you know kill enough to kill him but enough to not you know showcase that he has burn marks or electrocutes to his mouth yeah uh, pop in uh, the pop um... in the stims uh and some additional convoltations and you make sure that you know he looks just like an overdosed crackhead basically um and you leave him there and the uh syringes and there. I and I strip him of his clothes take perfectly fine um yeah uh, if you want uh, for whatever case though you don't even have to roll uh you can get from him the his of course clothes uh his and a knife basically he didn't and he didn't really have much on him i mean i guess I'll just take both here yeah, right what's the weight of that it, d d d d don't worry about it no. it i know that you're, you're gonna be strong enough it's just a bunch of clothes and a goddamn knife you can carry that as yeah. you leave um, okay. Now, since the uh, since the people are coming closer, and you were able to fake this, however, uh, and you had some early premonition, I will need, lastly, from all of you, stealth checks, as you sort of try to skedaddle. Actually, well, um, two ways, actually. You can either roll <coughs> stealth or athletics, as you're trying to run away. Uh, both yeah, would be at a... People are approaching, it is nighttime. And you had some premonition, I'd say with a plus twenty. Okay. Mm. I'm going to be looking at the total successes. So I'm gonna gather all the successes and all the failures, if there are any, and then see what the yeah. result is at. Jesus Christ. Uh well, I'm sorry guys. Oh my okay. god. So we success with 4, 6, 10, 10 minus 5. Yeah. yeah, that's 2 degrees success, I think, at the end. Yeah. Um, just as a... Uh, that'll... I'm just yelling, shut the fuck up. As we're moving. Clank, 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 clank. Yes. I don't know, I'm just like pulling one up as like we jump from place to place. Come on. Um, you, on guys, you guys escape the area with the only thing that you guys hear behind you is... A little bit of screaming and shouting, and then somebody sort of what is basically a whistle. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, yeah, you're out of the area now because people were things and further people died. Uh, though you guys you did hide it up well. Do 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 do. What should this be? Give me a 1d3 somebody okay nice let me check that the nice for us or nice for you uh nice so you guys yeah. are out of the area you're still in the massive church area but you're away from the you know initial area of where all the fuckery went down and uh you all are slightly out of breath and uh, all of that, but seem to be safe and sound from anybody that might want to uh, also stab you.
Well, basically because there's no like turning back to the church anyways, we should probably go to another like quarter of the town where we won't stick stick out too much and maybe find the interest for the night. Oh. Indrind, hmm. are you fucking stupid? What what do you mean? Why did you open the windows? I told you to let us fucking sound escape. That that's how that's how it works. That's not how it works. I mean, yes, to be honest, it is, I mean, it is it how it works. But that that's, no, 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 no. It's, I'm so sorry. It is what it works. Is it is how it works. But that's exactly what we don't, we don't want. want. We want, want the, the sound in. in. But then, but then you know, it, it like gets all uh, you know stored up, and uh, you know it gets extra loud. Yeah, the moment we open up the door, all the noise is gonna go out, isn't it? If we do it that way. But at that point, we're gonna be leaving, so it doesn't matter. But not if in the middle of the interrogation. Frankly, I also found that that room was too warm, so I I don't think it was such a bad idea. Yeah, I did that too. Well, look, it's fine now. We did escape. Let's just put that behind us. <laughs> Even though it was really stupid. You were the expert in interrogation. I know, but we were focused on the prison. Oh, I mean, the, the interrogation worked. Yeah, well, it's true. I guess so. Shall we now? Yes. Please. To leave this search area. Please, yes. Okay. So, uh, are you guys now um, staying together? <laughs> Holy hell. Bro, what the Holy fuck? Hell indeed. What the like, fuck is that? <laughs> people and more motorcycles. Nah, what the nah. Fuck? Motorcycles are awesome. I entirely do that. I, in my hometown, I'm right next to a hill as well. So, it's not even just motorcyclists, cars. Whenever they want to go uphill, they put extra gas. So, it's just, oh my god, it's so bad. People are just being rude. Mm, yeah. So, not rude is being chat. Are you guys uh, still staying in the, you know, uh, two squads, or are you now going to stay as one squad? Well, for now, we should probably think of a plan to stick together. In my opinion. Mm. I mean, do you, do you guys think, I mean, do you think you guys, uh, you guys' cover is completely fuck, fucked? Oh, no. Yeah, probably no not completely. Gone. No yeah. one saw what happened, like, they just, some corpses will appear, but no one will know what happened. True. Mm. We might return as well. So, yeah. But considering what we found out, if the church is truly split here, we, then we didn't find know. out anything that we didn't know. Already? Yeah, yeah. We captured the people that attacked us are lackeys of the person that sent yeah. us the notice. So, not, we've gained nothing. Yeah. I mean, the Archbishop would find out. Oh, actually, he wouldn't, yeah, because they were sent out. They did it. Yeah, they yeah. did it on their own. Uh, I don't know. One thing the guy pointed out that does worry me is the, that this R bikes work properly. He's suspicious. What? Could you repeat that? Yes, please. He said that the, uh, the R bikes guys were being properly suspicious. Yes. That the guy pointed out that and that the oh. R bikes not acting on. I mean, it sounds more like they were being prevented from working properly, rather than uh, them being suspicious by, by themselves. Which, uh, once again, points to Robert. Yeah. Yeah, that's... You say Robert or Robot? Robot. Robot Gilliman. I say. Robot Gilliman. We need to, we need to boot, uh, boot Robot Gilliman out. Yes. You say how take. But who's going to do your taxes? Need, do you need a need to do those? And like, uh, taxes are fraud anyway. True. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, then 
still staying in the two squads, correct? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, I'll say, since uh, the festival, you two um, would have definitely heard about that uh, there have been, like, rumors going about that uh, some people have died. Definitely. Um, a, it seems that one of the cleaning servants uh, <laughs> just sees four bodies <laughs> down a chute, basically, and reported it to the nearest Adeptus. Arbite and the church, of course, and uh, now an investigation is occurring. Um, and that there seem to have also been, uh, you know, a member that, or there's also been exaggerations. Uh, four, three, five people in a room basically overdosed, and it's it's people are spreading stories, but you guys know the truth of what happened. Yeah, you know. Uh, actually, that that's that looks really bad on like uh, what's his face again? Like uh, because like one of his followers uh got caught uh essentially mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. being overdosed despite you know being uh mm -hmm. being a holy man. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Base. So yeah, there's there's a bit of that tension in the air, anyways. Uh, but what I'll say is the two of you at that at the church just additionally. Uh, can make me a scrutiny test at plus 10. Okay, this... also, side note. Yes? Can I just say that I burned the ropes? Yeah. Like a easily, fireplace easily, in our room. Easily done. Uh, uh, shit, I said to roll the scrutiny plus 10, and I already forgot what I wanted to tell you that I saw something about. Hold up. What the fuck did I want? <laughs> I had a fucking mind block. I think you wanted to come out of closet. No, no, it's not that. Um, mm. I mean, we already know that, anyways. Sure. Oh, sorry, who's rolling? Uh, no, no, the two, the two of you were supposed to. Uh, I told you to roll scrutiny with a plus ten, but I'm trying to remember, uh, for what exactly. Um, because I had something on my mind. Shit, I can't remember. If I remember, I'll tell you guys again. But I don't yeah. even have to roll since I literally just now forgot what you I said something about rumors and especially in the church and sorry i did yeah i know sorry blocked my bad no 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 no. it's my bad i forgot for gore <laughs> um but two days will have uh passed as the two of you are uh doing your things and uh asking about trying to mingle with the local culture and customs and you guys are looking at the church um and eventually the day of the festival will arrive and oh boy it is big like even from like the set of morning you guys are already there's basically almost like going to be an entirely entire day of rush hour as people are going about the main street is filled to the brim um you guys at the church uh see you know squads of choir boys being Put, you know, sent to places, um, and as a sort of ceremonial thing, you actually will be able, uh, and so, sort of a thing that you have to participate at, you guys will see, actually, um, two important individuals, Robert and Ishmael, kind of really close to each other, actually, uh, like, you see Robert at the front, and then Ishmael is kind of like, you know, right-hand man, basically, but all smiles and faith, you know, dressed well as they're sort of leaving the head cathedral and going on to their own, um, basically, transportation, which is, well, super guarded. But uh, they're leaving the church and going to join wherever. Um, and yeah, you guys can, if need be, or want to, um, since everybody kind of has a job, but uh, you, you guys... Uh, from the church, no, not necessarily, um, since you're not one of the choir boys or one of the main organizers and you're new to the planet. And the two of you commoners um, can basically do anything. So if you guys want, you guys can rendezvous up somewhere uh, and, well, look at the festivities or plan something out of what you want. Well, we have like a few days before this, uh, you know, goes down, right? Um, yes, I would have said uh, since the event, uh, two days would have passed. There were two, yeah. You have two days. If there's anything you want in between, hit me up. So, say something. Can we do, like, you know, general prep work? Yeah. Uh, like, you know, five, like, you know, scouting out the area and uh, <clears throat> and figuring out, uh, as you know, like, 
properly having like a place to like uh, dump, dump someone in that, that's a, that sort of deal and you know maybe like figuring out official guest list for a program and so on and so forth uh, I think uh, from the common perspective I think an official guest list or whatnot is a bit hard if you're looking for higher ups but when it comes to people uh, and from what you were able to find out other people it's basically an open thing it's a festival long thing that lasts for yeah. an entire day and the main event yeah. is the parade that goes from basically one side of the city to the entirety other side of the city, which is basically a few kilometers more. I, I, I mean, like, you know, whips that announce themselves, uh, you know, I'm going to be there because, uh, you know, ah. important uh, event. Okay. Um, give me, give me, give me, give me. Can I also assess with that? That way it's a bit easier as well. Yeah, I'm trying to see what uh, would best apply. Since this is kind of investigative work. I think scrutiny works the best here, unless you want some kind of other approach that you think would fit. Uh, I don't even have thoughts on that. Oh, well, I don't have that either. I'll say you can do... Maybe, maybe try to inquire into it or something. You can. Inquire, inquiry actually works well, actually, really, actually works the best here. I forgot about inquiry for a second. Do you have uh, that, when you do but Indrin, I don't have that. Indrin, since you're also taking a look at places and stuff like that, besides just the guest list and stuff, as you mentioned, uh, you can do awareness. Since you have sure. two days, uh, the thing is big, you can roll awareness with a plus 10. And inquiry on your side, since there's a bunch... Of, actually, no. There would have been a lot of works going around, since the uh, people placing stuff and blah, blah. You can roll with a plus 20, both of you. All right. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, let's start from the uh, from the awareness. So you do see um, that along the main road, uh, one of the main places that seems to be where it's going to be a big thing, right, is the middle of the city, where there seems to be a large, almost like open plaza area, basically, right, um, which has in its tiling basically the sign of, uh, basically the symbol of the Aquila Emperor, all of that. And it is, it is huge, like hundreds of meters, basically, across of just empty fucking plaza, essentially. Uh, but besides that, when it comes to, like, other places, besides the main street, there are works on side streets as well. It seems that, you know, other places of will be worked on and other places will be filled. And because of those side streets and all of that, Plenty of alleyways that go through as well. Bunch of buildings, right? Uh, so as well, bunch of places to be uh, for people to be places, right? Uh, anything specific as well that you're asking about uh, so I can answer, or is that enough? Mm. Mm. Not really. Okay. Uh, for you, Freya, uh, asking about trying to see, you know, the important people. Uh, basically, everybody and their mom and their dad and their entire uh, family is mostly going to be there. Uh, when it comes to the people of interest, um, you know, you find out that uh, the planetary governor and, you know, the ecclesiarchy and sometimes other people will be near this plaza area as there's like a spire nearby which kind of overlooks the place, and it's basically, it, it's meant to basically be this one really large bal outside balcony that sort of overlooks the plaza and whatnot. Um, and mm -hmm. you find out that's where the planetary governor is most likely going to be, uh, probably the cardinal as well, and who knows what are uh, other people, right? Um, since everybody kind of has their own go to, but important people, nobles, stuff like that, they go there. Because it's the best viewing place of the entire thing. Okay, uh, cool. In terms of um, lesser people, I mean, you know, there's organization happening. Uh, I will say as well, as part of it, um, you'll also find out that, you know, uh, the main street is going to be filled, as I said, with the parade, which is going to be filled with tech priests, or, well, right, not for tech priests, but rather the Adeptus Mechanicus. Um, and there's going to be, of course, Adeptus Arbite patrolling, doing their jobs, all, the, you know, the good people. But there's going to be people, a lot of them. 
Uh, anything cool. else you're interested in that I might have missed, or? No, I think I got uh, about all that I wanted to hear. Okay. So, reversing time again. Um, the day of the festival. And, as I said, places are packed, and uh, the parade has not yet time to start, is since it's supposed to start around, like, near noon and last for, like, hours. And this is still the morning, so you guys can rendezvous before the parade and the main event, basically. As the rest of the streets are filled out with, um, you know, small parties, locales opening up, sharing, you know, drinks and beers, everybody having a, let's call it a merry time, from what it seems to be, uh, generally speaking. <laughs> God damn it, Redimer. So, <clears throat> you guys can plan stuff out or if you want to do something. No. My personal plan is uh, you know, to look for us, uh, for, for the most British people to later, you know, and get an integrate. But, uh, you know, I'm open to suggestions. Hello? Hello? Are you French? <laughs> French? No, come on. I haven't heard that in so long. I Time. Think, I think both of them died. Yeah. And they're dead, uh -huh. not French. Oh, I'm not dead. Fucking Sorry. muted. Holy Same. shit. <laughs> I hate everything. Oh, Same. Oh, my lord. So, well, kindly repeat. Thank you. That was just. Well, my personal plan is to just uh, go and look for the most suspicious persons, uh, like people here, interrogate them, get get the info, and uh, hopefully work from there. But I'm open to, to suggestions. Alright, what would you consider a suspicious person? Uh, well, anyone that uh, engages in the activities uh, that uh, we've been caught here for. Degeneracy, in particular. Alright, do you think it's more worth it capturing higher profile targets? Oh. Uh, sort of, I guess. Yeah. It's actually, uh, yeah, as you say, it's a... Uh, it's like, it's like a profiling, essentially. Mm. Okay, but we also do need some information. In general, like, just from the basic crowd and not just a few individuals. Yeah. I was thinking about someone, going around and seeing what the uh, I was comments. about to say someone should do that exactly. So, good idea, good idea. I mean, we, since we are still in our disguises, right? You guys can still have the Ecclesiarchy disguises, yeah. But we don't have to. You don't have to. You guys can have civilian clothing. Mm. Or if you guys want to, by the way, I will notify. Um, since you are guys going to be on things, you can, you know, use your actual gear and armor up. It's up to you. I, I would need to know it for later on, though. If you guys are going in disguise and light gear, or if you guys are going fully geared. I have a big brain idea, Demi, but it may not actually work. <laughs> Do tell. Yeah, they say that, like, nobles go here too, right? Yes. Uh, does it technically classify me as? So yeah, I'm highborn. Yeah, I think that's right. You could definitely, <laughs> you could definitely go in as a as a noble. Yeah, it's just, this would be an interesting <laughs> like uh, perspective to get. I would presume that all of you also have you know just general goods, and you probably would have like some kind of little noble dress or whatever, or something that makes you appropriate. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. I'd imagine, right, that not all of the adeptus arbites are like guard duty. Some of them also take part of the festival, right? Take part in the festival, right? Um, I would take part in the festival in what way? Like, guys, uh, like, like going with the parade and stuff like that. Yeah, or just yeah. yeah, yeah. There would definitely be yeah. some, but you would uh, probably know and see. Actually, most seem to be on patrol duty. Yeah, I'm just thinking if there's some of them that are drunk or 
take life on off duty. Um, fun enough. Uh, I will. Say, uh, you do have a keen eye for this, especially for this. I'm not going to make you roll for this, but um, funnily enough, you actually don't. Even with the amount of like, you there's a lot of people, right? But you see that mm -hmm. most of them are that are like armored and actually in Adeptus Arbite gear seem to actually be looking kind of focused. Mm -hmm. So either no one's off duty or those who are off duty are just. So I wouldn't. Most likely, like obviously, yeah, it'd be hard to find like a specific straggler or a specific individual. But generally yeah. speaking, most of them are in guard, and they seem to be going into. Uh, not in either like duos like partners but they seem to be like squads of like four or five people basically basically un uninteractable mm. i mean if i would interact with them that would just raise suspicion mm. uh... can i spot anyone from the under um on that one, I would need a roll, uh, which would, I think, be for you common lore underworld. And this would give me it with perception, if you might. Um, uh, it's perception intelligence. And intelligence. This will be with a plus 10, since you're looking for somebody specific, but there's a lot of people, so it might be... How do I do it? Because it says intelligence or fellow. Okay, so just take your perception, right? Just uh, click the button where characteristic perception, and you see yeah. that the underworld has two ticks. That means you get a plus ten, and then a further plus ten because I said so. So I'll just click plus. perception with plus twenty. Okay, yeah, um, you definitely would be able to see some around, uh, though they don't seem to be on the um main street or even quite on fully on the side streets they seem to be on the side side streets um and it's mostly beggars and people just coming up it seems like because this is a big event people from the under hive or the lowest levels of the of this place right probably yeah. come up here to you know get what they can with all the confusion or with, all, with the amount of people. So people begging, or people possibly finding some more quality drugs, or whatnot, you know. But there are definitely some sketchy people, and there are definitely people that are very well, very much not nearly dressed for the fucking, dressed for this occasion. Are there any drug dealers? Drug dealers? With three uh, successes, um, I would say that you would be able to find one. Uh, definitely in, like, one of the random alleyways, just, uh, you're able to see an interaction going on before he, you know, the drug dealer heads further into the alley. You're just like, aha, uh -huh. classic. <laughs> mm. The classic uh, handshake of like, ha, oh, yeah, I know you from like long ago, my guy, how you've been, you know? Definitely didn't de just give you yeah. cocaine in the hand. Mm. Well, that actually needs, so I'm like talking, right? Uh, you're what? Did I interact with him, or did you just say I? You just bought that. Hmm. Uh. Are there any other people? Yeah. I'd say um no, probably, which is why he did it right there and then. So a bit alone. Well. Uh, hmm. Can I just come into the alleyway and like? <clears throat> like take him by take him by the neck pin the wall say I need it. Ooh, that's hot that that that's fair uh for that since you're gonna get up on him and uh whatnot give me just a general actually no you're strong enough and you have uh, all of that um he's too focused on the thrones he just received uh to not notice that you you know, just come up and just grab him by the neck and you just sort of push him against the wall and he's like, whoa, 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 hey, 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 chill, 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 chill. I need some information. Can you provide me with some information? 
look, 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 man, look, man. I, uh, if you just wanted some of the stuff, just, just, just ask. Come on, come on, man. No, I don't mean that. You don't want this to be become ugly, do you? Nope, nope, no, sorry. Well done. And I like put him down from the wall and like just flex my shock mall. Just would a shock mall be like a representation that I'm a former? Yeah. Adeptus Larvae. Tends to be, yes. yeah. Yeah, so basically just uh, as a threat and also just, you know. Uh, just also a question, are you in your uh, uh, Adeptus Larvae carapace or are you still like in disguise of like the, the, the uh, church guy? I'm not in the disguise, we didn't go over the, I'm not going as a part of the Ecclesia. Okay, Please. so you can somewhat blend in with, since it's kind of like the Adeptus Arbite yeah. to have on the world's uh, somewhat of a similar design. So you can't do it. And he's like turns around then and uh, looks at you and it's like, ah, shit. As he sort of recognizes that he just got caught by a cop. Yeah. Hey, look, 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 look. look. I think there's been a big misunderstanding here. We can make a deal. Shh. What do you need? I, if you don't provide me information, I need I can just get you to jail or report you to other colleagues, or you could cooperate without any screaming or or trying to run away or what do you say? Look, I don't want to have a bad day. Does a could a hundred thrones cut it? No, oh, I need you to talk. Shit. I'm not getting out of here without broken legs. What do you need? Well, first off, I need to know if you know some high-profile people. Do you have some clients that are profile? Oh, this is what it's about. Ah. Uh... <laughs> hmm? Ah. Uh... I work with mostly lower end clientele. Sometimes a noble here or there comes up, asks for something. Yeah. Okay, anyone that shouldn't be buying drugs from you? For example, Adeptus Arbites or Ecle the Ecclesiarch? You're the cop. None of them should. They do anyways. Mm-hmm. Well. Any important people among those? Uh, you, uh, just as out of character, you're, are you asking about some of the, you know, high, high end? Like the people that are of import? Or are you looking for something uh, slightly... Less. I mean, it doesn't have to be like it wouldn't be obvious that anyone of high high import would just yeah. go and buy drugs, drugs. like yeah, drug course. dealer. But anyone that could be connected to them, someone that may be in their inner circle, someone like at a higher, for example, like a, a bit of a higher, for example, in the ecclesiarchy, not just the basic priest, collide, maybe a bishop or something. Yeah. And for the Adeptus Arbites, maybe an investigator or something, not a regular cop. That's what I mean. Okay, look, look. Fine. I'll tell you. But... Shit. Promise not to fucking break my legs. After we're done. Okay. I'm listening. That didn't sound very convincing to me. Not in the slightest. Look. I just need him. I'm not here to go around some local I can do that whenever I want okay fine <sighs> hope I don't get my fucking nuts busted for this shit if you're looking for high tail fine tail the biggest guy I got and just know I only did it once alright okay so this guy his name is, um, shit, I need to think of a name. <laughs> Let's just go with Paul. Fuck it. I love Paul. 
You know what? Sure. I like Carlos more. Carlos is a fitting name. So... Okay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, just kidding. So, Paul. Uh, okay. So, there's this guy called Paul. He runs a got big fucking restaurant chain a few blocks down here. And so, asks for some of the, for some of the, some of my stuff. That's it. What's the name of the restaurant? He'll give you a name, I'll tell you later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, he'll he'll quickly inform me that, he, you know, he just sent, like, that was his biggest deal. Uh, he sold a decent amount of, uh, when it comes to Stim, Obscura as well. Um, mm -hmm. Mostly the, uh, and a bit of Trank as well, uh, specifically in the same sort of weed and the like, right? Um, yeah. And... He just informs you, yeah, that was a big buy. I got good money and uh, expanded my business, let's say, by uh, getting more of the good shit. And then he's going to finish. That it? You happy? Maybe. Let me ask you something else. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Come on, man. Can't do this to me. Look. Look. Listen to me. Keep it short. Did you ever notice? From maybe the adaptive star bites or something like that, just turn the blind eye some illegal activities. Is that a common thing here? That's some really specific question. You're new to this, aren't you? Look, I trust in the emperor and I trust in the law, but I. Can't for sure say for all of my colleagues that that's what I'm they, just checking. That's what they all say. But no. Most of you cunts are, well, cunts. Anyways, can I go now? Uh, uh, Look, I've told you everything I know. You got what you wanted. I don't have broken knees. And I can keep on walking out of here. We're cool, right? Sure. You tell anyone about and you'll lose more than your my lips you got me my lips are silent get the fuck and don't let me see you today and he's going to piss off okay what about the rest of you i'm i was planning to help injun out with by spotting anything anyone of interest nice okay um that would be uh if you're assisting uh that would be you're just giving him the plus 10 right to the awareness or do you want to roll on your own since i uh, i'm not sure if you guys uh, are going I want to, to get... roll on my own okay um then you guys can roll awareness this would just be flat challenge because this is purely just for spotting people we haven't we aren't doing anything to them yet yeah, yeah awareness yeah all specs obviously yeah, I would say the aspects applies. And this is about uh, flat challenging. Mm -hmm. Um hmm, hmm. You know what I'm gonna use like, I can at least like a fate point for a plus ten, I think. Uh, right? Yes you can. can. Okay. Well my also a crowd garbage, but uh there you go. Mm, better technically. Okay. Ooh, crit success. Let's go. Ooh, we found we gonna find someone good. Okay. So let me see, because I do think I did note something. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. I mean. So with that awareness, uh, and this is going to be Indrid specifically. As you're looking about, and you know the festivals going about, and um, you guys do. I will say, by the way, as you're keeping an eye out, there is one important individual that you actually do notice from your report, and that is Theta 37, the main tech freeze that is actually part of the uh, parades and is leading uh, basically um, an ensemble of other tech priests, and they're smoking it up with a bunch of incense and just, you know, holy prayers and chimes as they go about giving each work of art and stuff, you know, its own rightful right basically. But uh, with that success, you find, notice a few people, actually, but 
specifically, you see two different groups of people that seem to have different ways of going about things. One seem to be um, hooded, basically, individuals that do seem to be going out and about the various alleyways or being on rooftops and looking about. And you sort of, because you're keeping an eye out on, like, a lot of other people, um, you do notice suspicious movement and mostly use of data slates and, like, a few bit of hand signs and whatnot, and then they leave. The other group, however, seems to be much more open about it. Um, but what catches you off is the same use of various signs and whatnot. But when I mean open, they're not hooded, they're not all of that. They seem to be things like waitresses, bartenders, uh, people that are working, basically, almost like working class, that seem to be almost working out in the open, and you can sort of see street-to-street -street communication or whatever, right, going about. Uh, you... Um, uh, you, Spike, would only have noticed the uh, hooded individuals, uh, The but it is, uh, what is it called? Uh, it is Indrin that was able to, because of the crit success, honestly, see this other yeah. group. Not so crit success, my dude. Let's get it. I, yeah, so um, you have that information. Before we act on it, uh, let me also, since that, I think that's going to take the most priority, what are you doing, Freya? Well, I was gonna schmooze with the local, uh, of the the noble people. Oh, it's a bit harder. Um. Okay. 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 Um, would that, would, yes. Uh, schmoozing would generally be a charm test. Yeah, let's go schmooze. Uh, so, since I have, yeah. Uh, I will say, uh, because you have. Uh, the local language now, which is going to make it a lot easier to smooth with some of the, well, local nobles as well. And mm -hmm. um, our highborn yourself as well. Um, you can roll charm with a plus 20. Okay. I will also spend one of my uh, fate points because I have four left and I don't think I'll be using <laughs> that much more. Bless, bless. Yeah, go for it. So that's a plus 30 in total? Should be. Okay. So, uh, we'll go back to the uh, people for awareness. So, anything you two want to do or in now that you have this information of these two groups? I have a question. Um, like you mentioned them using like symbols and the like. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of symbols are we talking about? Just generic uh, symbols or something? Uh, uh, gen well. Generic hand signs, basically. Almost uh, not quite gang signs because it's not that crude, but it, since it seems to be much more sending a message. But both both of them seem to have uh, different body language and you know signs that they make, like you know, while nobody's watching under. But it's generally generic. You don't see anything that seems to be you know like a specific sign. It's like, you know, saying something. Yeah, it's not it's not quite that open, but uh, you get the gist. Yeah. And the two groups do use different different uh, ones that you can that you could have noticed. Well, all right. So uh, I guess I will uh, inform <laughs> inform Spike uh, what I found and ask him what he found, and then huh. Well, I think we should uh, try to track, uh, tr you know, track one of the the targets. Essentially, probably like uh, one of the like working class people would be best, since they they were yeah, less likely to be missed. Yeah, hmm. I definitely think you the group you found is uh, definitely better for our purposes. But I feel like it's gonna be tricky getting anything. From them. I mean, do you have any ideas how we could do that? I'm not really good for this uh, stealthy stuff. Like, I the mean, best, we the best I can just... come up with, uh, beat someone over the head and uh, and uh, drag them somewhere where I can, uh, you know, ask questions in peace. I mean. Uh... I'm a man of violence. A fucking mech, mech fucking priest, no. Tech priest, sorry. 
Yeah, but uh, do you think we can get uh, get a tech priest? Okay, we need to for the tech priest. We need would need like some proper prep work, probably over several days. It's the Not thing. Just... You don't you don't really, from what I know, at least I don't think we'd really be able to do that. What the fuck? Mm. I mean, we very much can like spend some time uh, after this festival. Try to find out like uh, who are the people he trusts, uh, uh, mm. what 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 the scheduling is, and yeah, then we go. Should, we should and... definitely should look into him. I'm I'm going to see if I can uh, stick to him, figure out uh, where he goes. And... Yeah, yeah, but uh, who sticks to I... him as well? Yeah. Uh, just uh, but... a question is mm -hmm. me. Just to uh, see if I didn't you know spread information wrong. Uh, what's this about a tech priest exactly? Isn't that like? Uh, no, no, the two groups um, are, as you noticed, are not Adeptus Mechanicus. Not Tech Priests. You fucking... No, 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 it's the main parade, the Theta 37. The Tech Priests are part of the parade itself. The two groups you oh. noticed are just basically outside observers. Uh, the one group, which seems to be cloaked, hidden, trying to be very kind of openly suspicious, let's call it like that. Well, the other group that was uh, noticed by Indrid is the open group. One seems to be hooded and basically almost like low-life people, but one seems to be, you know, a bartender or a waitress or a prostitute or whatnot that are sort of like working around. Basic gotcha, workers. Gotcha. I misunderstood you, then I misunderstood you. Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad as well. Okay, yeah, I mean, I guess, it, yeah, I understood that kind of the same way, but yeah, I guess we're going to go and, uh, yeah, I, I think like you... The way it's presented, it looks more like uh, the hooded people are kind of like uh, a distraction and they're kind of, you know, supposed to, uh, you know, stand out in some ways. It so, feels like that as well. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> what do you think? Uh, who looks the easiest to just mysteriously vanish from this place? Honestly, a prostitute. All right then. Um, how do we go about this? What do you think? Well, do you have any money on you? Oh well, depends on what Demi tells me. Honestly, I'll be, I uh, don't know what we said yeah. about that. Honestly, it, it, it's it's built into influence. But uh, just getting you know a prostitute, you don't have to you don't have to requisition a prostitute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can just say that you, you know, spend a bit of your salary and just, like, you know, get a hooker. All right, then. Let's do that. Yeah. Oh, um, if possible, we we should get uh, into, like, a, you know, space where we can, uh, essentially not, not of our choosing. Like, they probably have, like, some sort of security set up for, for this kind of stuff. Not just, the, you know, because they're, like, a bunch of cult, uh, a bunch of like secret, uh, secrecy people. But uh, you know, I, I had my share. I had my fair share of those people. I and uh, you know, if you make trouble, they they usually have someone ready. So you might have to like pay a little bit extra to get her to go uh, go where we want. All right then, you all follow your lead since you seem to know what you're doing. Uh, no, I was actually asking you to <laughs> to do it because I'm, I'm poor as shit and. Uh, I mean, okay, yeah, I'll give you the money. Yeah, and uh, I'm still the man of violence. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I'll go get okay. a hooker. So, holy shit, what the fuck? Why can't I find what I need? Um, <laughs> then we'd be like, where's my hooker sheet? <laughs> the thing is, I didn't really have a hooker sheet prepped, funnily enough. Um, my mistake, of course. I uh, always oh, should have a sheet ready. Oh my god. Um, uh, I think no, that's a bit too. You know what? We're just going to use. Fuck, where is it? Ooh, actually, this, this, this is this is the closest thing. This I think works the best. Um, I, I won't have the sheet ready, so I'll use a different sheet. But uh, I'll roll manually because I'm retarded. Um, so. What's the plan? So you guys just want to go hire one of the hookers that you uh, noticed and uh, 
you know, go to basically one of the rooms. Since by the way, these prostitutes are primarily working, um, you know, as part of brothel. Since, funnily enough, because of how many brothels there are, you don't actually need illegal prostitution. You just join a brothel. You don't have right. some, you don't have street hookers. You just have legally organized professional hookers. <laughs> yes. But wait, did it wouldn't mean we uh we went into like a brothel to notice them? No, they're out on the streets. <laughs> this is <laughs> they're on the streets get it trying to get their services known. Uh also Domino just died. There you go. Yeah. Oh he oh, oh there he is. Welcome back, Domino. Yeah, sorry, this I couldn't yeah. the button. But yeah, they're outside, you know, basically promoting themselves and grabbing, you know, the one who seems you know, who gets attracted and then they bring her they bring them inside so who's doing it who's uh taking the lead indrid no i'm uh, i know my weaknesses yes i would, I would do the <laughs> actual, actual inter interrogation and uh you is read, that uh, what you mean them yeah i assume this is just be kind i, of I like, mean are both like give are, money are the goal. two of you going like together is my question, or is it going to be like one person goes to the prostitute and then you know tries to follow? No, like uh, I mean, ideally, what you know, what one person gets a prostitute to go uh, to go to the to the location we want, and like uh, the other one is like already waiting there. But since they're professional, we're not going to follow us. We follow them. I'm assuming it works. Yeah, that's generally how that's it works. That's what Demi's implying. Yeah. So yeah, like I feel then, it's better to have you do it. Just say a few words, give money, then go. Cause I'm better at following people. I I will give a hint, and uh, since I will give this with the awareness as well, um, if you want to, both of you can go. <laughs> I don't know. That, I mean, I'm fully aware of the of the possibility of both of us going, but. Just kind of to me is like it's yeah, still okay. more suspicious. Okay. So I don't know what Indran thinks, but so, just tell me who's taking the charge then. Indran, what are your thoughts on what I said? Uh, I mean, if, if you really want to, I, I guess I can take lead, but I'm I really suck at this. Like really, really suck. You don't have to talk much. Just go. With her, I'll follow you from a safe distance. When we get to a quiet place, bonk. You're gonna be closer anyway. All right. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, uh, oh yeah. I, actually, good, good, good question. Are you gonna be the, the going to be doing the bonking? I mean, it's the other one. It feels like hitting people with. Your hands or weapons is more your forte and more of the stay behind and shoot at them sort of person. Yeah, okay. Sure. Then make sure she doesn't escape and, uh, you know, if things go wrong, that she doesn't scream. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> blessed. Okay. So this won't be um, hard in the slightest, at least for you, Indrid, because uh, they're very eager. They don't really look. You basically be like, it's basically the case of sucky sucky ten bucky. You give the bucky and she gives the sucky. <laughs> so you just showcase a little bit of interest. You showcase that you're not a random homeless guy and you get taken up. You, you basically go to a, a private room and are able to do stuff if want to. Uh, the bigger question, though, is then, uh, Spike, how are you exactly following through? Are you just trying to uh, stay at a distance and try to get as close to the room as possible, or are you doing something else, like trying to go through a window or whatever? I'm probably trying to... Well, it depends. What's the layout of the room look like? Um, it'd be a pretty uh, simple brothel room. Uh, that is, I'd say, since things... Most of these are pretty high class, in a, in a way. Um... You know, you got basically a double bed, uh, double bed or king size, queen size bed, uh, a bit of like you know a mirror. It, it's just think of it like a ho love love hotel, basically, sort of looking room. Mm -hmm. Um, though no separate bathroom because 
Actually, would there be? No, there's a brothel. I don't know. No, there, there would be. there would be. Let's say that there is, you know, also a bathroom connecting to the to the place. That you would see from looking around, a thing probably also has an entrance itself, like a window or whatnot. Sure, got you. Not far. Well, yeah, similar to that. I mean. So, what's your uh way in, and are you? And what are you like? Are you just gonna go in, or are you like waiting for a sign? I I mean, I feel like I would be waiting for a sign. That feels like the smart thing to do. Okay. And uh, as I said, what are you? How are you approaching exactly? Or how are you going to get uh, in position? Probably through the window, because like going through the establishment feels kind of impossible. Okay. Uh, that's going to be, I'd say, pretty simple, since there's a lot of places, uh, and I think you're good at, shit, let me check, are you good at acrobatics? No, you're good at athletics. Okay, same works, honestly. Um, since this is mostly, it's not even that much about stealth, it's more about, you know, getting to it, rather than anything. Um, give me, then, an athletics roll, or acrobatics, if that's better for you. And then. there's enough places uh, to go about, uh, you know, nearby buildings and whatnot, and probably even something similar to, like, a fireplace. So you can give me this with a plus 10. Either, right? Uh, excuse me? Either athletics or, or acrobatics. acrobatics. Yeah, it's more of the approach of anything. I don't know. Unless you fail a fuck ton, it won't be too bad. At a plus, what'd you say, 10? Uh, base is plus 10. Just since there's other places and buildings and whatnot around. Gotcha. Wait, does grapnel and line apply? Do you have a grapnel and line? Yes, yes, I do, actually. I think that... Holy shit, it's stored. It says stored. Well, but sure. I'll say... I'll say you're able to prep it. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Uh, But grapnel and line, let me see. But I think that gives you a, a plus 20, actually. Uh, best quality, I think, is plus 30, but let's see. What do you mean, didn't find it again, bruh? Yeah, I think it was plus 20. So, you can, uh, besides the base, plus 10, you can roll with a plus 20. Since you're basically going to be using that, uh, and uh, yeah. just be like, all oh, alley-oop. Maybe not the most subtlest way of doing things, but, uh... No! Hmm. Oh, it's 66 indeed again. It's not a massive failure, uh, so I'm not going to, so you would be, I will say that you're eventually going to get up there, right? But you are going to be late for, you know, or you're not going to be properly ready for any kind of queue or things, and getting through the window is not going to probably be the silentest thing either. Yeah. So, you, um... I'd say, Indrid, uh, you are able to, you know, since your kind of focus is not exactly on the sexy part, I think. Um, you do see outside um, Spike, you know, you see <laughs> basically somebody trying desperately to climb <laughs> up the window. And um, it's going. But... Oh, well, I will, I will um, use the opportunity to uh, just tell a prostitute uh, to uh, to go and like uh, freshen up for a bit. Uh, you know, I, I you know I tell her I need to get ready. Whatever you say, so, you baby. Know. Oh my god! And uh, yeah, she'll go and uh, into the restroom real quick, and uh, you know, freshen up. You have a moment. Yeah, no, I will. Uh, I will let him do do his thing <laughs> while he while tries to get up. <laughs> and that'll that'll buy enough. Room, that'll buy enough room. Um, he is out of breath. You know what? Just for his, his uh, brevity's sake, uh, Boo, uh, give me also just put that you have a fatigue that you gained a fatigue from this. Yum. As uh, you see him panting, it's that bad. <laughs> you see him panting, and it's like not good. But he comes to his breath a little bit and, you know, thumbs up, he <laughs> <You're> ready. <laughs> uh, and you can, if you want, leave the uh, window open just a little bit for uh, Spike to enter when need be. Yeah, uh, that's a question. Um, what, what does fatigue actually do? 
Uh, so basically, uh, how it works is I, uh, there's a system in the book. If you go over half your threshold when it comes to fatigue, so in this case, uh, for Spike, for example, it's six. If it gets to three, I feel I think it's like a minus ten penalty to all tests as a base. And if you right. get to six fatigue, aka your threshold, you pass out from exhaustion. Okay, so basically, uh, it's not a threat that now, uh, no, and he has like a lot of like room to work with. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's just that this was slightly, you know, oof. Oh, okay. So okay, so five minutes will pass, and uh, she'll yeah. come out uh, of the room and uh, freshened up. A nice, nice sight to behold, that's for sure. And her bless her. All right. Um. Hmm. Uh, and also, just to, just to ask for uh, brevity's sake, are you yes. uh, two in any disguise, or are you using gear gear? I am using like uh, whatever we were wearing when we came here, like the to the, the tourist outfit, essentially. Okay, and Spike. Okay, I'd be using just some fucking. I assume we'd have just some like common clothes. Yeah, and uh, in yeah. terms of weaponry, I'm presuming then you're just getting the last pistol, not the hot shot. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay awkward okay. to carry. Sorry. That is true. Uh, and Indrin, just uh, just to see, uh, what do you have in gear? You have. You, uh, I think the things that would be the best, easiest to uh, hide on your body is definitely the last pistol, and I could see the whip being, uh, you know, uh, hittable, right? Warhammer, not so much. I just hide it in my pants. I'd say it's, you know, <laughs> my equipment. <laughs> you're, you're okay, okay, that literally, was... literally whipping it out. <laughs> Okay. Oh my fucking god. Uh, but yeah, um... Yeah. Um, by the way, like... I probably should have asked this earlier, but like, how the fuck do... Uh, the, does knocking people out actually work? Oh, let's... Let's... See. But, um... Basically, I, I think there's specific rulings somewhere, but... Uh, actually, hold on. Might be in the, uh... Second edition combat. do 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 Brace, charge, defensive, no, fucking, there's stun. Uh, but I think stun required a fucking talent. You, we'll just make it, we'll just keep it, uh, we'll just keep it fairly simple. Uh, you can make me a weapon skill test. <laughs> to try, yeah, to try and clock her, basically. That is very simple. <laughs> So um, so I basically use like a like the uh, what's what's called again like the stock of my uh my like last pistol and like boom or what you could do that or literally just throw punches. <laughs> God. Okay, now I will do that and you know just just you know tell her to position herself uh, <laughs> or try something special and uh, <laughs> and I just fucking deck her. Okay, make me um. Well, this technically this would be flat, but we're gonna treat this as a punching normally, right? Yeah. So you roll your weapon skill. Since this is yes. going to be a punch, let's see where unarmed is. You do get a uh, a plus thirty for what is it called? Uh basically surprising. Because <laughs> I'm gonna be real, I don't think a hooker expects that quite. Uh, unarmed combat. Yes, here it is. So, when unarmed attacks are treated just like those from any other melee weapon, and successful hits inflict 1d5 minus 3 plus strength impact damage with no penetration. If it inflicts damage equal to or greater than the target's toughness bonus, it inflicts one level of fatigue. Whenever an unarmed character attempts to strike an armed foe... Okay, but basically how we're going to count this is uh, you're going to knock her out, but let's see if you can do enough uh, fatigue, basically. So, roll your weapon skill as if you're just attacking normally so what you can do is weapon skill plus 10 from half aim you can take the yeah. time or full aim even. Um, okay that's plus 20 plus 10 from standard and plus 30 for so i think it's weapon skill plus 60. okay hmm it's plus 60. and i'll say that every degree of success additionally would because you're catching off guard give an additional uh fatigue loss to the thing Mm, so if mm. you go 
if you get good enough, you'll be able to knock her out instantly. If not, she'll be fucking dazed as hell. And if you roll 100, well... Uh oh. Okay, uh, you know, just before I, like, uh, uh, just stack here, I give, like, the signal, uh, which I'm gonna designate now as, uh, the sound of an African swallow. And, uh, <laughs> poorly imitated, of course. And, uh, well, just, just go. So, plus 60, you said? Yeah, I think the total should be plus 60 in the end. Okay. Boom. Okay, four Jeez. degrees. Um... How that would work is you then roll the uh, 1d5. Uh, just it, it, You're going to roll this in chat, like I'll tell you. 1d5 minus 3 plus your strength bonus in impact damage. Uh, let me check. That's uh, 4. Thanks, uh, plus 1 total. Right? Um, how much is your strength? Oh, uh, 41. 4. So uh, that would be 1d5. Minus three plus four, so I think that's one d five plus one. Yeah. Yep. And let me just see how much uh, toughness and vocal. Okay, okay, okay. So you need to get. Uh... Huh. That's awkward. Yeah, that's not penetrated. It's not enough. <laughs> you no, know, that's not. You're one under. It has a toughness <laughs> rating of three. <laughs> you're just under. <laughs> Okay, okay. I, I say the, uh, I want can, to say in a really coarse, coarse, coarse voice, just stay quiet. You, you have, do note, you can spend a fade point to reroll damage rolls. So you, oh, I can, I can, so you I can, can spend okay, a fade okay, point okay. to reroll this damage. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. If I can do it just damage as well, then yeah, we'll fucking do that. And I oh, think, actually, actually, hold up as well. <clears throat> Old ways, gained a proven three quality. Wait a second, actually, never mind. You don't have to reroll. That's actually funny how that works. So, unarmed is technically considered usually uh, a low tech weapon. So you actually would have proven three on this. Oh, that's... so that's three plus one. That's four damage that passes. Yeah, holy shit! <laughs> because you're from a fair world, you just know how to throw punches well and make them fucking stick. Interesting. Um, so that actually does enough damage for the toughness. Funnily enough. Um, and you got four degrees of success, right? Plus the initial one. That would actually be exactly her fatigue threshold. You knock her out. So, a Spike, you you see, you know, cheek slapping supposed to initiate, but uh, definitely the cheeks were not slapped. <laughs> Goddamn skull was. Um, and God damn. And yeah, Hooker knocked out as you enter the room. All right. What happened here? Well, I I, I got a target. Uh, I think now we need to move her. All right. How do you propose we do that? Uh, you think she would survive a fall? What? Sorry, I didn't. I think she would survive that. a fall if we just throw out. <laughs> it depends. What floor is this? I would say that this is the third. I'll probably know. Okay, is so that like a fire exit? Whatever. There is. It's, okay, a fire exit is usually like a hook to an alarm or something. And are they monitored? G good question. Uh, I don't think even in New York they are. So I'd probably say no, but they're not in this room. Uh, the fire exit is probably out on like a hallway for like another another exit. That's why uh, 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 what's it called? Spike had difficulties entering from the window. Okay. So we need to like, hmm. Actually, you know what? You you got good at stealthing, right? You did what? You got a stealthing. You could be being stealthy. Uh, I can be sneaky. Yes. Can you go and, like, steal one of those uh, carts for, like, uh, laundry and stuff when they, when they do rooms? And then we stuff her inside of it, and then we leave with that uh, through the fire exit. I mean, I would reckon they have spare keys. 
So they can still go into the room. Yeah, probably. If you want to lock her in the room, right? From what I understand. Hmm. Well, I want to. Uh, I want to get. I want to have like a place. So, uh, where, where where to interrogate her? I mean, yes, but we can't really do that here. Yeah, I wanted to move locations. But the proper question is, where do we move locations? Next, some banner building. Funnily enough, thinking about it now, depending on how you go about the interrogation, you could use this room as an interrogation place. There is plenty of screaming happening in the nearby rooms. I suppose, actually, yeah. So we can just do it right here, but then what do we do with the body? Mm, yeah. I mean, like, actually, like, the like, uh, what what are the windows face? Like, what what's 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 outside? Um, specific, like, uh, I mean, from where um, what is it called? Spike came in. Uh, it's just basically the back of the building, an alley. Like an alley, huh? So you might be able to like just get her out of there then. Like if if you don't care about her being alive uh, after that, then yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, what what right, do you say? Like we, we can do that, honestly. Yeah. Okay, interrogator here. I'll be honest, uh, I don't have a better idea. So, yeah. yeah. Go for it. All right then. Uh, well, let's just tie up and uh, you know make sure you, you make sure that the windows are open, so you know the sound. <laughs> uh, Sound can escape. I will be closing them this time, trust me. <laughs> we want to listen here especially, because all of this screaming is already coming inside, right? So if the screaming goes outside, that's going to be weird, right? Doesn't mean that it's just very successful, really. You're not here. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that makes some sense. Yeah, sure, let's roll with it, but uh, do be ready to, like, open the windows at a moment's notice. <laughs> I, I absolutely will, you got that. So, before you roll the interrogate first, uh, she will, I would presume, you slightly uh, wake her up. And she sort of yeah, just like... looks at the two of you, just like, uh, hello. Hello, let's play a game. I'm presuming this is some kind of kink. <laughs> It'll cost you, you could extra. say that. You could say that. <clears throat> How about you answer some questions? Hmm? I, I really love secrets. I really, really love them. Especially if they're other people's. Why do you say that? Um, me too? Good girl. Alright then. And, uh, 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 how, how do you want to do this, like, uh, system-wise? Um, it, as interrogation goes, it'll be an in interrogation. Uh, if you guys are planning to be rough and tough, by the way. You can yeah. technically interrogate in other ways, it's just, like, interrogation is the most bare bone basics when it comes to well interrogation it yeah, includes uh, like, some pain it includes some uh torture it includes all the fun stuff that interrogation in warhammer 40k ensues remember uh you know if she likes that she's a heretic <laughs> yeah true okay so you can roll it uh interrogation <clears throat> then do you have spike interrogation uh haha -ha, you see demi there's the funny thing. Absolutely not. Okay, so you can't assist, per se. I have command. <laughs> oh. oh, no, no, no. That, that... Okay, but I won't let it automatically apply. You'd have to roll for it. 
Um, any bonuses? Any bonuses for command? I mean, she has no idea who you are. No, this is gonna be flat. If you fail, okay. Oh, gaming. gaming. Um. Yeah, I'll let you uh, add the plus ten to the interrogation uh, as you have supported basically. Um, your friend over here um is now working almost like as a, dr a semi drill sergeant uh for a prostitute and you know civilians they don't know the pain of being under a drill sergeant they don't know the pain of listening to a commissar you do <laughs> and you vent that on it it scares people so you can roll interrogation since um you can take the plus 10 from the help and an additional plus 10 because you uh got it in a you know got her in a relatively good place all right so i think that's interrogation plus 20 a total yes i already saw as well damn oh. all right uh would you like to re uh, uh, do note as well something you can add uh because we forget about that is that you can spend fate points to uh add a degree of success if you want oh like actually yeah, so for example, uh, you see success with one additional degree, and that's like two degrees of success. You can spend a fate point for three success, three degrees of success. Mm. Honestly, yeah, we should do that. Okay. If so, uh, you will have access to three questions, or enough time and, you know, before she either, either something happens or whatever, but you have time for three questions. So, what'll it be? What do we want to know? I mean, first of all, like, uh, no, who does she work for? Like, uh, what, what like, organization is she working for? Not, not the, uh, not the prostitute stuff, but uh, yeah, that that's what she'll say first. But uh, yeah, yeah, that that's uh, after after digging in a bit, um, and looking and doing your very nice tactics, you'll actually find out that uh, she works for Reina du Berdal, the Customs Humanitas. Huh. And uh, who was this uh, chick uh, associated with? Um, let me show you again. This girl, the import, one of the important people, she's the one... Yeah, 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 I have everything open, yeah. Yeah, she's the one who organizes uh, the festivals and takes care of basically the culture, the art style, you know, basically m m culture head, L literally, literally that. She's in uh, terms of organization, in terms of preparing stuff. Things go through her, basically. And uh, generally speaking, her position, uh, and I'll tell you this from like Imperium standpoint, right? Her position would generally be on Imperial words, be negligible, since, you know, Forge World doesn't care about culture and arts and things, but this is a garden world, so she actually has a lot more pull here than anywhere else. Or this kind of uh, role. Alright. But that's who the prostitute or this organization, in quotation marks, is working for. Two more questions. Maybe, hmm, what do you think about asking, like, what exactly, like, how the festival functions, like, who organizes it, and, like, uh, what type of things you can do there as well? Yeah, but wouldn't there be, like, common, commonly available stuff? I mean, yeah, but she can know something that the commoners don't. What if I just ask her what was, uh, oh... Uh... What was uh, her and like her co-worker's job? All right. Instead, well, they would okay. go uh, for are it. you asking specifically, uh, basically, what she's doing with the people that she's also doing yeah. hand signs with and stuff? Yeah, exactly. You'll find out that she basically acts as uh, eyes and ears, spies, basically, or informants. Huh. She uh, keeps. She yeah. keeps an uh she basically, you know, tracks who needs to be tracked or people's movement or like 
if there's somebody slightly important or possible nobles and whatnot that gets reported you know spread around so people know and um yeah basically eyes and ears all right mm, maybe what kind of information they they collect maybe something like that what do you think yeah okay. it's fine okay from that line of questioning since you know that she's eyes and ears uh basically um people where people go people move um and it doesn't really matter exactly it, okay it doesn't matter who exactly but it's not like hey we're just eyes and ears spying on a single guy right the various nobles that arrive to this planet, right? The various uh, higher-ups that are also things, the locals who might have gotten a bit of more power, their entire job is to just find out where people are, at what moment, what are they doing, what do they like, right? If they, for example, track that a specific noble has maybe a taste for some kind of uh, some, some kind of the prostitutes, like they find like blonde heads, right? That kind of information gets spread around because that can be used for later on. Or maybe this kind of noble or person really likes this kind of brand of liquor or something like that. It's the menial day-to-day -day information or details about people that can be used for later on. Not real spy work as in the sense of like James Bond is just like, I'm here, I exist, I pick information, and I spread that information. And they do have people to, you know, be on a lookout for or... People who might not have been on the lookout, but now become somebody important, you know, like a new noble or yeah, something yeah. that comes about. Yeah, I get you, I get you. Hmm. All right. So that's all questions, right? Yeah, I will say, uh, as time is uh, going about, um, uh, you know what, you gave me the perfect idea. Uh, since that's just going to take like half an hour, an hour, time is going to, you know, pass somebody is going to try and uh enter the door and uh you hear knocking basically on the front door um and you hear that uh, one of the ladies just basically go uh missus are you done cleaning i'm gonna look to fucking well uh and say something scary i i will no, I, I, I would say to the um to the prostitute, uh, if you want to live, uh, tell her we will be busy. Oh, uh, you're still busy. She'll respond. Uh, uh it, the the fellow here took double. Um, later, please. All right, honey. Good luck. Um, and yeah, clean lady will leave, but uh. You don't have much time here left. And she's going to look to the both of you and just be like, "What now? Okay. Okay, that was painful. That was not in my intention. Uh, who the fuck are you two? What are you working for? Oh, we were playing another other game. Time. Yeah, we're just playing a game. What do you mean? Look, I have a feeling I have, I, I have a feeling I know how to sends. But how about this? I keep my mouth shut since I already told you things. And if I say something, I'm going to die. I'm going to be dead anyways. So maybe we just go our own ways. You see, but like, how is that possibly a good idea in our situation? What are you talking about? As I just said, if I blurt something out about what happened and that I said something, my head's on the chopping block anyways. Do you have anything more substantial? Like some information that, uh, like some dirt on the, on the nobles that's at least worth something. Look, I just, I just told you what I know and what I do. Just bare bones stuff. Yeah, exactly. Bare bones stuff. Stuff that, uh... I mean, what do you want to know? A random noble likes... I don't know, his, uh... He likes big, big-breasted big girls or something? Like, that's all we pick up. 
What about more peculiar tastes? What are you insinuating exactly on that one? Like, if you're asking about anything, and an anything, anything, anything that's uh, worth something, worth a worth a human life. Shit, 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 shit. Roll me one of you. Uh, choose who to roll me a one d one hundred, and this is basically a luck die. Low is good. You go for it. Since you've taken up your interrogation, any additional information is basically no. <laughs> and this is purely uh, purely last resort things. Yeah. I mean, I just, I just want, like, I don't know. Some, 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 yeah, some yeah. Weird. So one of you uh, do the 1D100. You go for it. Alright. So... Let's go. Holy fuck. Nice. Well, let's go. We we got it. Okay. Okay. That is a natural one. I'll give you something. Holy shit. Yeah, so you'll find out. Um, she'll tell you. Look, you're probably not going to. Please be enough. Please be enough. Please be enough. So, I heard a rumor from one of my, from one of the people that I sometimes work with, that some of the people over some of the. Astropaths sometimes tend to have a lot more fun than others. Um, I just heard basically that they tend to have like almost weekly parties and getting as many people as they can. That's the most high profile thing I can think of. And this is just a rumor. I don't even know if it's true. Come on, tell me that's enough. Uh, you know, I, 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 I wait purposefully, uh, a little bit too long while staring at her. She is, she, is, she is going to start tearing up while, you know, being almost like angry. It's like, come on, no, 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 come on, please. <laughs> and then, then I say, uh, I'll pay her and, uh, give her something extra. She sort of looks at the thrones, and then, you know, because she's probably still manacled up or something, and then you know, it's like, thank you. I won't tell a soul, I swear. Yeah. You better not have to come back. Or, well, if you're feeling generous, I also believe it will be in your best interest to um, report to us any suspicious behavior that may have mentioned okay um should i contact you or you contact me we'll be in touch every once in a while gulp got it and uh you guys can freely leave uh you don't even have to leave through the uh what's it called the window I mean, wouldn't it be weird one dude went in, two came out? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? Fair, fair, fair. Um, you can, Okay, okay, one person can go out normal then, and one person can go out... I mean, the person that came in normally has to come out normally, and it's it's at least like... Sure, sure, sure. That's sure. what I believe. But, basically, you guys can leave. Uh, also, just as a note, I'm not sure if that's being used, but you guys can. Um... For any types of information or whatever, uh, you guys can either put that on your own sheets for like not notes later on, or I gave you guys a group handout or a things to note sort of uh, two handouts that you guys can well, yeah like use. Can you give me like then the TLDR because I wasn't writing in the middle of it. I kind of forgot. I do uh, have a journal. Basically, the prostitute was working for Reina Duperdal, so the Custis Humanitas, 
she was acting as basically eyes and ears, right? Mm -hmm. um, and their important job is uh, to spread information of minor things, what people, and just note track as many nobles, as many important people of whatnot, and just spread that information back to, well, Reina du Bordal, right? They're her eyes or ease. Um, so things like uh, things that nobles or people like, where they go, what time they go, even all those little things, basically. Uh huh. And the last, the last one is about the big thing. The last thing is that it seems that the Ashapaths tend to have a good amount of parties and deals, and uh, possibly you know a lot of people. Hmm. Also, a question about like uh, Ashapaths in general. Aren't those also the people that send out messages? Yes. Yes. So, uh, well, fuck. If they actually compromised, it would be a huge problem. Oh, there's only one way to find out now, huh? Exactly. So, uh, before we end the session, since that's due, uh, just to uh, finish up with uh, Ladamno, with uh, schmoozing with a bunch of nobles. So, uh, let me just go back. How much did you get? I think three degrees, right? Yeah, three degrees. Oh, uh, yeah. Success of three degrees. Yep. So, um, there are some places where they are definitely dedicated for much more of the noble clientele in the various taller building spires and stuff and terraces that overlook the uh, things, right? And I'll say mm -hmm. with uh, three degrees and being a noble, um, you would actually have been able to um, schmooze your way in and showcase your spirit. You can't actually go to the main terrace. It's not just, you know, the highest end of nobles. The terrace where, you know, the planetary governor and the cardinal and whatnot would actually be um, filled with, like, probably have thousands of people on it, basically. Oh, and that means it's safe to go there, sure. Um, well, I'm telling you that you're able to blend in perfectly enough. You have, you know, the documentation. You can use your own, you can basically use your own real, own real <laughs> noble <laughs> fucking name um, yeah. and gain, yep. gain access. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go there. Let, let's see what we can do. Security there. is high, of course, and you do have to go through... I will note, to go there, you will have to be basically stripped or not have any weaponry or any armor, anything that might be kind of dangerous or whatnot. So you're going there, basically dress, purse, makeup, and you're good. Perfectly fine. Just so you're aware. Sounds reasonable to me. Um, and yeah, is there anything, um, so you have access to basically where the main event, let's call it like that, right? Mm -hmm. Anything you're looking for? Oh, I, I'm thinking stupid stuff, Demi. I'm thinking very stupid stuff. You can tell me all the stupid stuff you want and I'll tell you how stupid it is. I, I really want to, like, I want to get information, but I also really want to schmooze with some people, get to know the people in the right places to, like, try to uh, eventually be able to up my influence in that way. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I have a lot of fate points remaining. So, since this is where the noble thing is, I'm going to do actually something a little bit different. Um... Rather than schmoozing and things, what's actually going to be looked at here more is not how charming or whatnot is just simply how much power you actually have. So um, I'm going to need an influence role. An and influence role. An influence role. But since, um, oh shit, I don't have your special app ability, so I can't necessarily look at some of that thing. But... Um, an influence roll at a base of minus 10, basically. Since you're not from this planet, your power base, let's call it, or people you know or whatnot, is not exactly here. Yeah. So, if, I... if you fail this, I'm not going to take away your influence. This is more just okay. to see uh, with who can you contact first, or get into communication, then we'll go from there. So, uh, if I spend a thing to get myself a plus 10 on this... You can. And it's a bad result, I can still re-roll it, you right? You can re-roll with the plus 10. With the plus 10, yeah, okay, I'm spending a plus, like, I'm spending a faith point to get that, so to, to just neutralize the roll, so it modifies yeah, so zero. It's, yep. Uh, and what is this going to do is not, it's not going to directly up your influence, but rather we're going to see how that goes, because you're basically throwing out your name, who you are, and whatnot, to get 
to up your social status in this party so that you go to the big boy club. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna reroll that. Go for it and pray that it's not a hundred. What the fuck? You try to throw your name out out there, but uh, you're left in the little league, my guy. Sad. Time to just smooth around, I guess. You can actually smooth around with the uh, lower hand individuals. Um, if you want, uh, either something like an inquiry or another charm or help, even command would work here. Um, and they're all the same role. Yeah, there you go then. Um, uh, roll me one of those and uh, do it just flat. Okay, in that case, it will be uh, apparently it'll be charm. <laughs> wow, why couldn't I have rolled that before? Hey, pretty good. Okay, so you use your uh, you use your looks, you use your uh, you know way of speaking and whatnot, and I'll say you're able to get the attention of a singular individual, noble as well, uh, dressed fancy, but um, the. <laughs> What you got, uh, with, with that four degrees of success, I'm not going to cook you with somebody bad. So what you're able to find is uh, a guy who is, you know, relatively young, modern, noble, you know, looks good. Sort of approach mm -hmm. you and, uh, you know, you use your seductive looks and whatnot to try and get his attention. And uh, he sort of comes up, you know, tries closer and goes, may I ask for a dance? Oh, Frail put on a, a smile <clears throat> and nod uh, and offer him uh, her hand. Let's dance. All right. You take a bit of the time to dance and uh, you keep on charming. And you can see that, you know, his attention is very much focused on you. And he does do his best to um, present himself in the bestest of lights. Uh, you know, throwing out his own family name, throwing out who he has families and things. And, uh, Eventually comes the very important question of, uh, are you engaged currently? Well, I, I guess, uh, I'll, I'll be honest and say the truth. Uh, no, I am not. Well, my lady, you're in luck. <laughs> well, my lady, you're in luck. <laughs> he will basically throw out a political, um, engagement towards you. I don't know the system. Is that normal? It's fucking nobles. What the fuck does that mean? Like, uh, I... what do you mean? What do you, what does it mean? Like, what 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 is a what is a what is a semi decent thing to to do to this? Like, a good question. Your choice. It's time to retire your character. Got married and had three kids. Oh my fucking god, is it actually a thing? If I just no, say yes, no, I mean, no, I'm not actually going to kill your fucking character oh, that way. I mean, I, I don't know what this means, so I'm like, yeah, sure, uh, but as a side note, to kind of work for the Inquisition. Uh, <laughs> Did you tell him that? No! <laughs> I guess, uh, I think, well, I think it's the correct response, is uh, you know, kind of skirting around the line, you know? Mm. So, yeah, playing, I, I, playing, I want to get to... Playing hard to get. Yeah. Okay. Playing, playing hard to get and be like, yeah, well, why don't we keep contact, exchange uh, contact details. Mm. And, uh, I want to get to know you. Pat. My man literally sat at me on Discord. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> Seeing that, uh, you know, there's a little bit of that disappointment in his face, but he keeps a steely facade and goes, well, I understand. Maybe this can change your... Uh, look on things and uh he'd like to uh go to you know a bit more private basically i uh, what he'd want to do is specifically is uh drag you to one of the many empty rooms that exist and go about man i was expecting nobles to be slightly less horny bonks but i guess <laughs> I <shouldn't have> <laughs> well, it's bro no they are. They are said, even worse. My man literally said, "I think nobles aren't horny." What do you mean? <laughs> I I thought they would be less bad. <clears throat> Honestly, their whole job is to fucking go to war. Well, yeah, yeah. but like, yeah, Freya focuses on the going to the war section. 
yeah, you're 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 one of the knights, you know. These yeah, yeah, these yeah. are just degenerates, and welcome to these what are, many of the nobles are. These are quite literally de degenerates. But I mean, at least he had the decency to like offer me an actual like uh, you know marriage first, you know, before it's like yes, let's just fuck. <laughs> That's technically just a demotion what he's doing now. So uh, like I I imagine Freya at this point just uh, you know he, he looks at her he looks at him again and like. Puts like uh, her hand behind like the back of his neck, not in like a, a mm. vicious way, but more in like a charming way. Yeah. So then we, like leans in closer and just says, "Uh, because why would you go about things so quick? As I said, huh? It's better to you know enjoy the night normally, see each other again, and then you can get back to the the discussion that that was offended at first. You shouldn't rush things. It's better this way." And she like uh, puts on a real big smile. Okay. Well, uh, he'll still, you know, he'll sort of nod and go like, ooh, feisty. Just what I was looking for, basically in his mind. That's what you can see on his face, right? And he'll keep on going with, you know, the escapades throughout the day. And I'm not sure how much time you want to spend with him before you just tell him to fuck up. But he will definitely accommodate you as much as possible. And uh, basically... <laughs> Yes. Uh, is he like of noble? He's of noble rank, right? Oh yeah. He, he, you didn't is he join, high? You didn't join the uh, big gang, but you're, he's a lower noble. But uh... can he get me into the big gang? Sort of ask you. He'd be at the big table if he could have been at the big table. God damn it! That that's how that works. <sighs> I I will just use him for like the rest of the night. Uh... Just like as an assistant to help me get information on that. Yeah. What, what the, the I rumors will, are. I will say, uh, with that charm test now. Uh, so with four degrees, uh, additional degrees, uh, you do have four questions from basically a lower noble that you can, you know, slightly, you know, tell lower, make him lower his guard and say things, you know. Uh -huh. So I cannot. Does that does that mean I can ask other nobles things through him, basically? Um, or is it just on him specifically? You're sp it's it's mostly on this one individual that you were able to find. Mm. You know, lucky hit that you might have some information and whatnot. Hmm. I kind of want to know some more things about the the the, the specific guy that was uh, expected to not be doing to be like negligent. I kind of I'm bad with names. Uh so I just want to see what the you know. Ah, uh, you mean uh, uh, things about Robert? Yeah, Robert, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Um, he'll comment that, uh, you know, he came here, uh, his family brought him here uh, when he was young, since this is where, uh, this is also the planet where he was conceived and uh, where his own family got together. Um, and because of that monument, he was baptized, actually, by Robert. And uh, from what he can say, Robert is a pious individual. He is a man of true fate. He is uh, humble, and he truly believes in the Emperor's light, and that uh, this world wouldn't. This world is as great as it is because of him. Man, I should have expected that the nobles to not know shit about what's actually going on. They're oftentimes more well, uh, blind than the. Well, this is just people. the opinion of Robert, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's one question. You got three more. You can go into details or specifics of Robert if you want to spend a question on it. Yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna see if like uh, there might be any, you know, truth to just some of the rumors going around. I, I don't know. Are are those public rumors that mm. you know? Okay, okay. He's uh, slacking. I'll take the question more of uh, basically the opposition since it'll be close enough, anyways. Um, yeah. the the little charming noble will basically tell you. Uh, no, that Ishmael is a brute. He's a, just a classic zealot. Um, no, they're, they're definitely Robert's the one in the right. Uh, and Ishmael is just acting up, basically. Uh, he, we've seen he's seen this many times. He just wants uh, Robert's position, and that's it. And he's playing, you know, the very aggressive game to get it. Every, everybody can see it. You know, he puts it in that posh way. It's like, everybody but the uneducated mass sees it. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That's that's the base way, yes. Well, I will spend my last uh, question 
because I can't think of anything else. Mm -hmm. I'll actually try to get a way to be able to contact this guy again at some point. Uh, I'll say you can spend the last two uh, questions then rather than finding information to up your influence by one by having yeah. him as a contact. Okay. So you can That's do that. Cool. So you take the questions in the charm rather than trying to find information by actually just trying to, him to fall over you. And you basically have a, um, it's not really a lover because you haven't done anything, but it's more of a admirer. And uh, yeah. the only thing he asks for is uh, keep in touch. Uh, I'll send you letters. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, cool. And of course he finishes off with that brash way. It's like, you know, swings his hair to the wind basically it's like you'll be mine one day we know it wink and then leave <laughs> chat move do i up it right now or up it a session uh you, you can up it now okay okay only four more to go lads and then i can become the real sister of war so uh, where is so since it is midnight and uh we finished everybody um nice yeah once again uh I'm saying things. If anybody's writing information or whatnot, do that. If I need to repeat, please do note. I'm writing the information that I receive. Like everyone else can do that for themselves if they want. Yeah, I'm doing that too. I'll do uh, it specifically the stuff that I, I find out. Just note, uh, if you guys are writing on the same thing, you might need to save before somebody else. Otherwise, stuff might be lost <laughs> or fucked. Or just write I'm it on your own. Okay, perfect, perfect then. So, uh, that'll be episode two, basically. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think, I think we got into the groove of things a lot better than, uh, for the first session. That's at least how I feel. What do you mm -hmm. guys think? Yeah, yeah. first session's always rough. Yeah, so, I, I agree. Okay, then. So, let's uh, say goodbye, guys. Uh, goodbye, cool. guys. Goodbye, boss. Goodbye, guys. Yeah, bye-bye. Boss, boss.